Well, hello, hello. Welcome to uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. Guns of the Patriots. Guns of the Lali Lulelo. So, before we start playing, let's do a little bit of a recapitulation of the whole of all the Metal Gear games we have played so far. Let's do like a quick story catch up. I'm playing the games on release order. That is not the chronological order. Um, but yeah, from the top of my head, we played Metal Gear from 1987. Cool game, decent. A little bit of annoying puzzles, but not too much into the story. You get to meet Solid Snake for the first time, 1995. Um, and it's just a straight Metal Gear, very, very simple. Very, yeah. And then we play Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, which is from 1990. That game dive a, a bit deeper into characters, supportive characters, <laughs> big boss. Uh, Solid Snake, a little bit of a uh, beef between them. Uh, you meet the uh, the doctors. Uh, yeah, more more character development. Overall, you also get to meet Gray Fox, but that one wasn't the first. But anyways, we play Metal Gear and then Metal Gear Two, and then we play Metal Gear Solid One, which introduce the whole Lefant Terrible, introduce Liquid Snake, introduce Otacon, introduce Re introduce Grey Fox <laughs> with a great redemption arc. It introduced Meryl, the whole Foxhound uh, team with uh, Psycho Mantis, uh, Vulcan Raven, uh, Revolver Ocelot. Uh, yeah, you guys know the deal. And Decoy. <clears throat> yeah, Metal Gear Solid 1 was a huge step up on the, on the story. And then we'll play Metal Gear Solid 2, which uh, continues... Uh, sorry, sorry, Metal Gear Solid 1 is on, is, happens... Sorry, Metal Gear Solid... So, <laughs> calm down. Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake, happens on the 99th, four years after the first game. And then Metal Gear Solid 1 happens in 2005, six years after. We also met uh, Meilin, uh, Naomi Hunter which is going to appear in this game, I think. Uh, uh, Campbell, etc., etc. And the Metal Gear Solid 2 happens on 2007, two years after Shadow Moses, and the Raiden story happens two years after that, so 2009. So, yeah, there we introduce Rosemary, we introduce Raiden, the whole uh, <clears throat> team, Bamb, Fatman, uh, we introduce Solido Snake, which is a huge uh, character. And then we got the whole Liquid and Ocelot, Arm and Ball, etc. etc. And the Patriots and all that stuff, which is really cool. And the. I don't know, I think Metal Gear Solid 2 again introduced a lot of stuff and a lot of new concepts and characters and stuff. So, yeah. And then the last game we played was Metal Gear Solid 3, which is the first game chronologically uh, you play as Naked Snake, which at the end of the game becomes Big Boss. Basically, you play as Big Boss. How he becomes Big Boss, you do the Virtuous mission and the Snake Eater mission. And that's my favorite Metal Gear game for sure. And you have the whole Cobra team. You get the, the boss, which is one of the coolest characters in the whole saga. Uh, you meet Eva, you meet a John Ocelot, you meet a Volgin, yeah, and all the rest of the chorus, which are eh. <coughs> the Sorrow is cool, though. The Sorrow is cool. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, and here we are on Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, this game, chronologically, is the last game of the Metal Gear Sega. So we have, you can see there on the cover, we have a very old Revolver Ocelot and a very old Solid Snake. And if you guys follow the whole saga and the story, you guys know how all about the genes <clears throat> and how uh, they age 
faster because they are from uh, the big boss genes genome and big boss was already like old when they got the genomes from him so yeah anyways uh after this after metal gear solid 4 comes uh metal gear peace walker which is yeah and then after after peace walker we have Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which happens I don't know when either. <clears throat> and then the last one will be Metal Gear Solid 5, which happens on the 80s. Okay. Okay. With all that said, I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, this game Metal Gear Solid 4, I watched on YouTube when I was like I play all the Metal Gear games and I was like, bro, I cannot play this one. I'll watch it on YouTube. I watched this game on YouTube many years ago. I'm talking five, six, seven years ago. So I remember some parts, but others I don't. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, let, let, let's jump into the game and see how it works. Did I, I didn't press anything. Maybe it's key by itself. Oh, wow. They're already spoiling. 2008. <clears throat> what if I let this play? Will something happen or will it just stand there? Who's that grave? This is Solid Snake show, so he never met the boss, right? <clears throat> I don't know. We'll we'll find out. If I start a new game, will I also get the cinematic? Let's watch the first one in case. I don't. Uh, only two eggs today? Polidus must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh, seven, three, three, oh, five, three, oh, five, four, eight, eight, two, four, four, six, you guys have to remember that code for later. So I hope you took notes. The Manhattan incident triggered a serious public backlash. Now the U.S. has to think twice before intervening militarily in other countries' affairs. This is, is that Campbell? A push towards military privatization, with PMCs at the heart of that movement. PMCs, private military companies. Oh, that's, that's a very right. old PMCs Solid Snake have voice. no basis in nations or ideologies. They are private enterprises driven by profit. In addition to dispatching mercenaries to war zones, they secure weapons and train local soldiers. They're contractors for war itself, and business is good. Their clientele includes developed nations like the U.S., rebel factions looking to seize power by force, smaller countries lacking armies of their own, even terrorist groups. They're in the Americas, Asia, the South Pacific, Europe, Africa, the Middle East. The rise of the PMC has spawned a war by proxy. It's spreading across the globe. They're, they're Sonny, we'll leave them later, okay? Sonny, Christina Puzzelli. <laughs> That's all the gun. Cage has its mercenary. These PMCs are nothing new. We've been dealing with since before the turn of the century. No, Snake. They're nothing like the mercenaries of the past. They're ready. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. The Pentagon's new battlefield control system has produced a decisive difference between hired guns and the PMCs of today. The system was developed by Arms Tech Security. Arms Tech? You mean AT Corp? Yeah. That was the one from Baker, right? Years, 
AT Corp has shifted focus from weapons development to security tools. And since the establishment of AT Security, business has been booming. The system makes it possible to integrate not only micro-level information on individual soldiers and units, but also macro-level information about field conditions and order of battle. So they finally achieved total real-time battlefield control. That's right. And as a result, the global will be seen. has grown explosively. Truth is, the rise of system-controlled PMCs has <laughs> led to a dramatic decline in civilian casualties and human rights violations on the battlefield. This game is going to extend and expand a lot on the whole military and battle and war with the technology and all the stuff. Stop smoking, Snake. Yes, get the cigarette. Snake, you were smoking again, weren't you? This is a non-smoking flight. There's more. State governments and rebel groups can't match the maintenance price of standing forces. PMCs by comparison is that mini metal gear reliable. Easy to use. It wasn't long before everybody had them on the payroll. Hmm. And as a result, regular armies began to decline worldwide. Hmm. It's hard to believe I know, <coughs> but PMCs are beginning to overtake conventional armies in terms of scale. Nowadays, it's the PMCs who serve as standard battalions. So it's like the drones, but the more like on, on land, land soldiers, like robots. The fact is, the world now depends largely on PMCs for waging its wars. I thought it was the UN that authorized the PMCs in the first place. The US abstained from voting on that resolution. In effect, Washington was endorsing PMCs without ever revealing its true intentions. Until they got wind of the uprising, that is. The U.S. has exported too much military power. And now, she's paying the price. That's exactly it. America has now turned war into a form of economic activity. Now? Analysts are calling it the war economy. <laughs> now, and that it's picking up the slack for the downward sloping oil market. But I, for one, don't intend to simply stand by and watch it happen. For the PMCs, market expansion entails fanning the flames of war. It means more refugees, war orphans, child soldiers. Oh, yes. Jack. Even as PMCs right, was right there. get more specialized, they're also getting younger. Mercenaries spun off from state armies, unmanned weapons, child soldiers, proxy battles in a new Cold War. There are hundreds of PMCs in business worldwide, and their numbers are growing. Currently, five of them are big enough to be labeled global powers. Two in the U.S. and one each in the U.K., France, and Russia. Reconnaissance has revealed that those five PMCs are run by a dummy corporation mm. that acts as a single mother company. This mother company embodies the five largest PMCs. Her name is Outer Heaven. Oh. Outer Heaven. You mean? That's right. It's Liquid. Liquid? He's taken command of this immense army and is now preparing to unleash an insurrection. I watched him die. His will lives on. In the body of the man once known as Oslo. Oh, wow. He aims to fan the flames of war even higher. To create the perfect world once envisioned by Big Boss. The one world in which soldiers will always have a place. He must be stopped. Before nice. it's too late. So I guess liquid to control. Snake. Any means necessary. What is this? Just stop liquid's insurrection. Even if it means killing him. 
You want liquid dead. Change posture. Show hell. Yo, Isn't sub dynasty? Right? Colonel. I'm trying uh, to play this game with the PlayStation 3 emulator. I'm sorry. It's working well so far, but it's this isn't stuttering justice. here and there. Let's see it's when I, once I start the gameplay. A hired hit. How are you, man? A wet works up targeting the head Doing good. Of major multinational corporation. This took like two hours to Why compile. <laughs> because of the military might of the PMCs. And the effect they have on the economy. War is to the 21st century what oil was to the 20th, the pillar that supports the global economy. You'll recall a rather alarming report issued by that American think tank during the Cold War. Oh. One that described a new model for perpetual. We'll press L2 that happens. What we're facing now. And I can zoom in and move the camera. Okay. Iron Mountains, Delphi technique. That was fiction. Existed only on paper. L2 triangle? What is triangle? It's far more serious. I have to switch this camera. Why will I want to switch this camera? Community is concerned. I don't know. All too afraid of the war economy collapsing to do anything about it. Why are you planning on on doing this? Sounds pretty Dynasty. To me. More the last of us. Snake. When I get a better time. This mission isn't an order from Washington. Are you moving to another game? Not like the old days. And it's not something the UN can officially sanction. Back to RE7. Ooh, okay. But we can't just look the other way. Any par Our particular difficulty? Madhouse? If we fail to act, he'll become the greatest threat the world has ever faced. Snake. You're the only man I can trust. I'm too old for this shit, bro. Fine. Let's hear it. Okay. That was just the prologue of the, <laughs> the Our briefing. Intelligence on Liquid's uprising originally comes via reports from US Special Forces were mobilized after we at the UN reported our findings. They're tracking Liquid's movements. About 18 hours ago, he was spotted in the Middle East. There's a rebel army in the Middle East, made up of ethnic minorities, waging civil war against the regime in power. We escape at say about 40 seconds. The core of that regime's army is provided by one of the PMCs. Or first, one twenty-seven for console new game plus. What about the rebels? The local militias have hired small numbers of operators as trainers and field commanders. And maybe try other categories course, from there. They've got help from the local PMCs. Okay. Right. A proxy war. One twenty-seven. The game is PMC long. Versus PMC. A now because of the boat. War. Yeah, I forgot about that. All two typical victims of the new world economy. Snake, you'll be sneaking into the conflict zone. Sneaky time. Madhouse might be in the works soon. One of the rebel armies so what difficulty is the... Your first objective the new game plus you're going for? Like normal, easy. Rat Patrol Team Zero One. They'll be expecting you. Easy. Rat Patrol, huh? Yeah, once you know that, boom. There is special forces team assigned to the Army's PMC investigation unit, CID. CID. I can see that. Real. Can you use Army. any items on no. that one? I can vouch for. On New Game Plus Madhouse. Friends of yours. Or there is some limitations. Oh, okay. Under cover of a yeah, because that's like a aid mission with support to win advantage, I guess we can call it. From there on, though, you'll get no protection and no guarantees from anyone. I'm used to this shit, bro. And you must not leave behind any evidence of your involvement in the area, let alone that of the UN. Who's this sunny character? If 
word. I guess we'll find out along the along the game. It would spark a global but it's just uh, introduced here. The rest of the cast Same. we know. <laughs> Hey, hey, what's up, Polygon? Will you do this for me? I already say yes, bitch. <laughs> Will you terminate Liquid? I'm not like the PMCs. I don't need your money. Thank you. But if you're going to spark something, spark this. <laughs> Knowing well, Polygon. Testing uh, this fire. game on the emulator. Let's see how it works. So far is okay-ish. Not perfect, but not too bad. All right, so that was uh, Act 1, Mission Debriefing. Now, if I start a new game, is it going to show up again? I guess it will. But I can just skip it, right? We just watch it now. In the not-too-distant future, on a tired battlefield, war has become routine. Yeah, we go. We are in the Middle East. A Hideo Kojima Agema. Did this say what year is, is this happening? I guess they will say it eventually, right? I haven't heard any dates yet. I hope uh, they make a Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 2. Uh, including... Fought by mercenaries and machines. Oh, camera. War and its consumption of life. This is supposed to be this shaky. War has changed. Can zoom. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons. Use ID tag gear. Nano machines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. <laughs> DRM assault rifles. War yeah. has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he controls the battlefield, controls history. Here we are. War has changed. When the battlefield is under total control, war becomes routine. You can already see the extra notch they go there. From one with the genome 
two two with the whole uh, patriots, and then this one is like everything is under control. Yeah, that rifle was. Maybe it was ID tag for someone else. We need to pirate. We need to bypass the ID. Right, here we are. Old snake. Stress. Okay. A little bit of stutter there. We're fine now. We have a stun knife. With stun gun functionality. Ready the knife with L1, uh, use with R1 button to strike and R2 to emit an electric shock. So you need to charge it. Then we have a ration. You smell it. Crouch. You can crouch walk in this game, which is huge. And then you come from Camel 32. Okay. The stuff there is, I imagine, from Compiling Shadows. Yep. Except for that. So, the first time I'm playing this, it's gonna be worse than if I play for the second time. But I don't want to play through the whole game to compile the whole thing and then play the second time. So, I'd rather have like a fresh experience on stream with a little bit of a compelling and stutter than already knowing what happens and we're playing it for a second time. Yo, Baby Bell, I was literally thinking about you before streaming. And then I checked your Discord and I saw you posted a message that you were busy with life and people were asking you to play Sound Hill. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Literally five seconds of gameplay. <laughs> we got another cinematic. Yeah, we're back. Doing well. Uh, we got an. Weapon available for use. Ready it by selecting weapons from the menu screen. Ready the weapon with L1 and fire with R1. We, this is the the controls are so different. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this. Okay, so how do you do that though? Collect. We still don't know what gear is. Weapons. Uh okay. Wait, what? I don't know how this works. Ah, uh, sorry, Baby Bell, it's a bit... I just started the game, and I'm doing the military thing, so it's, like, kind of a confusing. So, what else can you do? You can prone, crouch, you can... Totally prone, and then here... I'm pressing all the buttons. Does it... So, this is first person. Don't forget, Snake. This is still a sneaking mission. I know, I know, I know. The basic rule still applies. Stay out of sight. Okay, so this is aiming. Oh, you can like completely lay down and have more camo. Okay. That's cool. What else can you do? Oh, you lose stress doing that. Oh, you can roll. Oh shit, you can like prone walk on your. I'll be lurking at work and enjoy. Thank you, Baby Bell, for the lurkings. You can like do this and then aim. <laughs> Pressing the R3 button while aiming switches the camera angle over your left and oh. right shoulders. Oh shit, let me. To get the best view of then you can aiming. do first person with. Bro, this is insane. This is so hard. 
So this and then triangle to aim and then shoot with R1. Bro, these controls are so hard. Alright, so let's uh Let's go. Okay, another cinematic. <laughs> You just walk five meters. Is the game loud or is it good? Everyone is re retreating. Metal Gears, I guess. War has changed. Now, what do I do here? I'm gonna get in this building. Geikos. Those are geckos. Can they see me? Like, bro, the game works so well when I'm like. I guess when I reach a new area, it, it looks, it looks and runs a little bit worse. What is this? So ammo. You reload with circle. So I had to hurt more this way. How do I get past the geckos, though? <laughs> Ammo 61. I need to get past this guy. Uh... Saw me. Run! <laughs> oh, you can roll too. Okay, what is this? How are you? Okay. Oh shit! Shoot at me. Um, I guess it lost me. How do I sneak past by it, though? There's another one there. Should I just drill and go? I'm going north. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Run, Snake. Come in, Snake. What happened? Snake. Snake. Okay. He fucking kicked me and one shot me. Okay. Can I kill that thing? Head north and try not to run into any gecko along the way. Snake, do not engage in combat. Okay. 
Do not engage in combat. So how the fuck am I supposed to do this shit, bro? Um, Snake is fucking dead, mate. What if I go this way? Oh shit, it's behind me. <laughs> okay, we did it. First try is a busy. No detection so far. <laughs> Bro. Um, yummy. Run! Holy. Nice outfit. Keep you waiting, huh? We are not solely snake anymore, guys. We are all snake. Is that a box? <laughs> oh shit. Where am I? Oh. It's like a chameleon. My outfit can instantly will flash me with the environment. Yeah, look at that. No place for Hidia. It's watermelons, bro. What was that? War has changed. Indeed. Look at that shit, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it mimics anything around where you are. It will be cool if you were wearing the suit all the way like Crisis, like the Crisis suit. So it also work on your face, but we have to see snake face, of course. Oh, here we go. Oh man.
Also, I think this video, this game has the longest cutscene any video game. I think. He did it again, guys. Kojima did it again. Okay, let's save the game. Three days earlier. <laughs> Just like Big Boss. But who's that grave? There's a button there to press. Should I press it? Should I press it? I don't know. Oh, take hold. So I guess they're gonna show us now the the briefing we saw before. The test results. Proteome analysis was positive, but the mRNA analysis turned up negative. The wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic Werner's syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say... How much time left? A year at best, right. Yeah. Oh, she... Snake, let's try another doctor. Huh. It won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox Die. What is that? You're right. But we don't know where Naomi is. Uh, Naomi. She was the expert of uh, us from Italy Year One. She's the expert on fox dye and the whole gene genetics. Ah, uh, snake. Colonel, good to see you. Well, I'm not a colonel anymore, Snake. I figured the only place I'd see you dressed like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. Liquid! What? Like, even nowadays with the whole drones and everything. How far is that gonna go until there's an actual committee, like UN or something, to make laws against... I mean, there should be no wars at all, but... It's even worse when... He 
He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. Yeah, like how far is technology gonna go in the war? Uh, only two eggs today. So, so we already I saw this one. Taking the day off. She's talking about Solidus as they have they have chickens who put eggs, and she's uh, Sunny saying Solidus must have taken a day off as not like the chicken. There is one line of the, uh, one line line of dialogue I missed here at the beginning, and I went to listen again. When Roy Campbell starts talking to Snake. Uh, Act one, Liquid Sun. Alright, so they're gonna they're gonna show the the briefings no matter what, right? Oh maybe not. Maybe not. Collect time. But the controls in this game are so different. This is Snake. Do you read me? What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the Army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, mm. got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Wait, do I have a map? Octo Camo. An advanced camouflage suit inspired by the mimicry ability of the octopus. If the wearer lies still or doesn't move when pressed up against a wall, the suit can imitate the color and texture of wall and ground surfaces, fooling both the naked eye and infrared sensors. Nice. I have built a few combat drones and rovers. Really? Okay, so let's... Oh... There you go. Oh, that's very cool. So that's triangle. That's holding triangle. Okay, oh my god, this game. I lost my ration. Stress. Stun knife. How do I... Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a charge attack. So I guess this is the non-lethal weapon. Okay. Um, what is that button? Doesn't do anything. We had to go. How do I? Oh my god. How do I check the map? Oh, there. Snake block pad destination. There. So we go right. And right, okay. Are there soldiers here or geckos or something? Can I triangle to pick up the enemy? Okay. Moving around. Oh, I got that ration. This guy dropped some ammo. Oh, 
Okay. Get the news to the controls. Let's go this way. Everything seems a little bit chill now. Oh, are these friendly or... Like, I don't know who's friendly and who's not. I guess they're not. <laughs> I I'm gonna think they are not friendly. ABM. How do you to do first person view? I don't know. It's Avoid unnecessary combat whenever possible. In this war, neither side is your enemy. Okay. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Got it? Arsenal compress. Medicinal compress effective against muscle aches, sore joints, and bruises. Restore psyche when used. Open the item below and press the OK button to use. <laughs> The fuck? I think. I have a night boot? Cigarettes and compress. Okay. Yo, what's up, Minded? You got the game running an emulator? So far. But we just started. Let's see. I bought. How do you use this? Oh shit. Settings. Menu. Shuffle songs. Okay. Opod Octagon Octagon Pod. Metal Gear Acid. I'm not playing that one. And now, Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast. Oh! Recorded at Konami HQ in downtown Tokyo, this is your host, Ryan Payton, for the exclusive in game broadcast of Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast. Shit! Metal Gear Peace Walker. What's our PSP? But then they released it for PlayStation 3 too, I think. Or 4, I don't know. But originally it was for PSP. Same with same as in like uh, Resident Evil Revelations for the DS or the 3DS. DMCA boys, let's go! Oh, this is from Metal Gear Solid 3, I was gonna say. This song uh, was very familiar. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Let's continue. So, how do you... Okay. How do you... Peek. Okay, let's see. How do we get past uh, these guys? Bro, there is a freaking APM there. Hello? I guess I go this way. Mute my neighbor's dog. Is it being loud? This guy's still alive. So let me let me make sure I know that and that. Okay. Um, what is that? I guess I go this way. Let me check the map one more time. I have to go that way. Okay, we're like halfway. Please don't shoot. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. If you want to depict war as being a horrible thing, 
You are succeeding. So you can crouch walk in this game, which is very cool. You would try some CQC. Boom. Oh! You can pick up guns dropped by both the militia and the PMCs. Remember though, PMC weapons are locked. You can't use them. Oh. If only there was some way to get rid of the locks. Bro, the items are really hard to see in this one. <laughs> Let me go behind here. I really like the... The stealth thing. Can I open this? What is that? Regain. Tasty beverage with rejuvenating properties. Restores life and psyche when consumed. Open that and... Okay. Psyche. So we have, like, stress battle. That's cool. Oh, there's another one of those there. The shoulders move, too. There's two of them, but they're moving. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. Cardboard box. What? C box. Let's go. I'm gonna remove the iPod to be honest. I'm gonna keep it. Okay. What is this? Regain. Okay. Weapons. So this weapon is IV lock, so I cannot use it. Okay. And then we have a magazine to distract, I guess. Regain wasn't that the name of the hair loss remedy? <laughs> I, I guess. They're running out of names, bro. Uh, well, it's box time. There were a couple of guys here. I don't know where they went. So funny. How do you go against the wall? Wait. Bro, that's so cool. <laughs> the Octo Camo. But you cannot, like, peek against the wall? I guess not. You look almost like a midget gecko standing among them and pretend to be one of them. She has this guy's a ration. I hear some footsteps. Maybe from upstairs. I could go upstairs. Let me see. I'm almost at my destination, but. Ah, there's some soldiers there. Only one? See how the box works in this game. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. That counts as an alert, but at least he didn't call reinforcements or alarm. Okay. Did I make his I don't know. I don't know if I made noise or if I was looking my direction. Maybe he turned. 
Is there any way to know if there's soldiers around or something? I got no idea. I got the ration. Let's go. I'm gonna drop here. What the hell is that? The slow motion falling. What the hell? Does the game look good, guys? Guys, I know there's uh, having like a little bit of stutters here and there, but overall, I'm happy with the performance. Oh shit! Are they gonna come this way? Looks okay so far. Okay. That is how you do it, boys. That is how you do it. <laughs> GG. What if you hold triangle against the wall? That is like to to like hack the wall and mimic it. To like mimic that kind of thingy. Like the thing I did there, but with the wall instead of the ground. Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear. That's right. Just like Rex. But this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Nice. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? The Nomad is that plane. I was at the beginning. I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Ooh. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Ooh. It looks like an eye patch. I call it the solid eye. Mm. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. Thermal? The evolution of the eye. The are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat. At least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. Ooh. I like that pistol. An operator. I installed a suppressor. And here's a tranquilizer gun. Oh, yes. Oh, how thoughtful. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days finding decent guns that aren't controlled. The implementation of the system, I guess in that style, when they started doing the ID tags for weapons and stuff. It's like a black market. You coming? Of course. I'll follow you wherever you go. Like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. Hey, you gotta have that, Bring though. Up the start button menu. You got it. <laughs> Snake, the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. Okay. Can I have one? I'm, I would be surprised if with the uh, Well, let's see. Uh, MK2 pistol. Silent pistol, fire, uh, and a stick stick rounds. 
the laser. And we have the 45 caliber. Laser sigh, recoil, blah, 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 blah. Right. Solidite, an all-purpose goggle that combines the functions of several optical devices and supplies the wearer with a variety of tactical data. The organization to which a soldier or attack vehicle belongs is displayed in color red. Blue text represents an ally. A color closer to red represents a hostile target. Okay. Metal Gear NK2, a remote mobile terminal that allows Snake to move around providing mission support. Equip it from the item window to enable manual control. So we have like, we can control a little thingy. That's so cool. <laughs> um, useful for sending the gadget in Snake's place. Oh, so we can like scout ahead with the little... Snake, it's kind of a schlep, but I've sent you data on an alternate route. Follow the mark on your radar. Okay, over there. It's very close, but the cr the straight is uh okay. Four to one. I'm gonna. Ah, it's fine. Also, I have health and stamina. I'm guessing. So if you press uh, the triangle against the wall, polygon. Like that, you see? It mimics the it mimics the wall and I have 95% camo. But it's not good if I wanna like have this camo for example. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Slide. Okay. Are they shooting me? How do you peek? Oh, with the D-pad. Holy shit. Are you serious? Like, how the fuck do I cross the street without being seen? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh-oh. Did I crash? Uh... I think we crashed, guys. I sent you data on an alternate route. Maybe it was the explosion. The I don't know. Holy moly, man. What is that? Are they throwing like missiles or something? I'll try to take these guys down. What the hell is that? A flying Batman robot drone? Hello? Looks like it runs pretty smooth, so it crashes, yeah. Oh shit. How can you like tiptoe? Bro, this is impossible. I right, look at my hand. <laughs> what? Do you have to hold? Okay, so to do that, to so aim, aim L one. Aim in first person, triangle. Aim in third person, triangle. Move the aim. Move the... Yeah, move the aim. Right joystick. So, hello? So you have to do claw. And then shoot, R1. So... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are these controls? That was a pterodactyl. In this day and age? In this time of the year? At this time of the day? <laughs> That's crazy. I guess I I just shoot like this without like without uh first person, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh in this game quick quick and quick uh, equip and equip doesn't reload the pistol. 
You have to press circle. Okay. Go, 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 go. It's very different. Like, I'm telling you, this game is very different. I am... I'm almost at the rendezvous point. So this is friendly. This is green. Bro, sorry. I, I got... I got my objectives. I got places to go. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay. At least it didn't crash. I'm happy. But if it happens too often, yeah. It's pretty dark in there. Switch the solid eye to night vision mode. How did you do that? Oh. Let's see. Solid eye. Square, triangle, and circle. Switch between modes. So night vision is square. Normally circle and binocular is triangle. So. Oh, shit. Okay. Technology. And it has battery. You guys can see on the bottom left of the solid eye has battery. So let's select the night vision. Oh, shit. Uh, they hear you. If you walk behind them too too fast, they hear you. But you can slow walk. Not with the D-pad, but just with the joystick uh, sensitivity. Look at the footprints from the coldness. Or from the you you make the you make the floor less dirty. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. So the night vision gets uh, clearer. Better ration, let's go. You need to be a sergeant to play to play this game. Wait, is this friendly? It's gonna touch my ass, bro. I'm just experimenting with the mechanics of the game to see Go. what works and what doesn't. That is not friendly. It's red, right? I don't know. But did he see me and didn't attack me on purpose? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Get all those chickens. Do you need to eat in this game too? Can I get you? I wanna get the chicken, bro. Sorry. That oh, doesn't give you anything. Bro, there is plenty of life here. All of light. But there's a rat too. I saw a rat. What is a rat? Ratty, ratty, ratty. Instant noodles. Let's go. Hey, yo, Fred, what's up? I'm mute so I can hear you. I'm doing Model 3D. Hope your stream goes well. By the way, I'm back this week. Let's go. Good, good to hear, Fred. Thank you for the lurkies. And I hope your modeling goes well. <laughs> I saw a rat. What is a rat? <sighs> We're gonna let those live. I'm sorry. You can How did they hear that with the suppressor? Oh! Got the rat. How did they hear that I was shooting? 
with a suppressor. Are those friendly? I don't know, man. Someone there. Stay on your toes. Who's that? Don't move. I don't know if you're friendly, bro. I don't know if you're friendly, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if they were friendly, they are not friendly anymore. Let me tell you that. How many weapons can you carry? So I think you can sell them later. Evasion going down very fast. I don't know what my question. I hear him running around. Okay. So these people are like dying here. Holy. How do I take this item? Pentasamine. Oh, the Pentasamine is back, guys. I hit 20k on Twitter? Sheesh. Put it put it on the chat, bro. I don't have Twitter though, but I don't mind. I guess Fred puts the 3D models on Twitter and he gets a lot of followers there. What is this? A music from the iPod. iPod music theme of Tara. Nice. Do they have X? Bro. Why do you not have an X? Oh my god, you can slow crawl and slow crawl like this. That's it's like a snake. Oh shit, it's coming. Go to sleep, boy. This was green. This one was friendly, right? I don't know. He, I, we just put him to sleep, it's okay. I'm getting a lot of items that I don't know what they are for. We got 76 bullets, what the hell? This one is red, why? What the hell? Oh, they capture a wing from the pterodactyl. Bro, I'm not the enemy! I'm friendly! Alert. Who's seeing me? What is this? Stun grenades. Let's go. White Hustle's grenade. Powerful incendiary effect. Okay. A normal grenade. Can I hide in here? Oh, you can hide in the dumpster. Nice. I only had Twitter for my arts. That's it. That's fine, though. Not shaming anyone for having Twitter. They're waking each other up, so let's go. I like to run like crawl like this. Because you make less uh, footsteps noise. I wish uh, I wish Metal Gear Solid 3 had the, this. I know that... There was an alpha version of Metal Gear Solid 3. Oh, we are a Playboy magazine. Let's go. Middle Eastern militia disguise. Okay. Let's put that on. Camouflage. Khaki. Oh, you can change the... Okay, okay, okay. Concrete camo. Octo camo. Uh, change costume, disguise. There you go. <sighs> oh, we have an RPG here. Let's go. Do I need to have the their weapon too to disguise them? I'm gonna put the AK. Does this work? Okay, I, I kind of want to go back to them. Let's see. Hello, guys. I'm one of yours. Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> Look at this. It's you. 
Yeah, it's me, bro. <laughs> it's me, bro. Where do I have to go, by the way? Uh, so I'm there to the left. Yeah. So. This way? Wait, I have to go this way? I guess. I thought I came from here. This is so funny, though. Oh, yeah, it's me. Don't worry, bro. RPG ammo. Let's get that shit. Maybe we need to fight some geckos later on. The, the game runs well here in this interior place. Oh, and when you go outside, Petro Bomb. Has a surrounding area to burst, so it's like a mol Molotov. <clears throat> yeah, when you go outside, the game starts to be like. Ugh. At least at the beginning, when once it loads the shades and shit, you're fine. We're going back to the outside, I think. Willie Pete was this line turn. Oh, by the way, there's gonna be a, a character reappearing in this game that we haven't seen in a while. <sighs> Get the use of this monkey, by the way. <laughs> this is gonna be around for the whole game. Pretty sweet, huh? And this guy too. Oh, hold it. Watch where you point that thing. <laughs> Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered? <laughs> you see, I take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drebin. Drebin? Yeah, they use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. Drebin. Uh... You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? You need a guy like me. Consider the welcome you. Take it. BM4. The official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top-of-the-line model, real popular with the big PMCs. High precision, not like that government-issue shit. It's, a uh, free-floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. Oh! And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead, give a squeeze. Hmm. Really? That's weird. What's oh. Weird? Wait, I got it. 
I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. <clears throat> My day job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they even register. Have a sip. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. But you ain't exactly green either. Snake knows his weapon for sure. But you want to be well equipped, am I right? So, can we talk <sighs> business or what? You won't regret it. Can I call? What's your take on Emoticon? Uh, I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks I'm guessing like he's shirt ID guns. Fucked. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia. This guy really gets around. How's he pull it off anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The mm -hmm. problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for it. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember... Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. Okay. So, no, he's not supposed to be blue. I think that was a uh, bug on the what? texture loading or something. Okay then, let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for service. Like what? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And... I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you. You guys are solar machine. Nice. To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nano machines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Mm. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nano machines. Relax, it won't hurt. You're scared of needles or something? Right on the fucking neck. See? No sweat. Now you can use non-ID guns, no problem. Hey, be nice to our guests. Step outside. 
Burl. Pick up an ID gun that says lock, you just let me know. You name it, I can launder it. Of course, it'll cost you. The going rate depends on the war price at the time. I'm just gonna pick everything, sell everything, and just buy one or two good guns. Man, I gotta give this shit a rest. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all. And the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now. And control's essentially absolute. Paving the way for fat profits. If you're willing to bend the law. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies. And naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Mm -hmm. Privatizing the military has made the PMCs big and bloated. The fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be more like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my tea. It's like that movie of uh. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. What's it called from uh? No combat. What makes you think you know me? Warlord or something? The war. The, the Lord of War. Except no this one goes like more far in the future technology and stuff. All right then, if you need me, holla. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my drift. I have you. I have you. Is that the Patriots? He always says that at the end of every conversation, I think. <laughs> okay. Like, this game, like, the message and all the dialogues and everything, it's hard to pick and understand. You have to be in the, that mentality of, like, what the game is trying to explain all the time. Or it's gonna go up... It's gonna go above your head. It's not easy to follow, I will say. Back on the streets. You tell you I want to play. I know what you're still thinking, blue. But Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon. You and Drevin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price. One that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. <laughs> it's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service... Hello, Rutu Ave. To put it another way, I'm not sure how to say your name. The quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin <laughs> from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the okay. Mark II's weapon menu. 
How long is the Mark II? Units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Oh, okay, any so I don't have to be... Gets added to your cash. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to okay, Drebin okay, okay, for okay. points. I think his texture was fine before. I don't know why he became blue solid. But it's okay. We're gonna pretend he has a very intense blue sweater. We should assume Dremen has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services. So it's like inflation and uh, market uh, stocks. We had to sell high, buy low. <laughs> very intense blue gloves. Yeah. I uh, saw. So, heading to Debrin's shop for ammo. Crystal parts and I didn't So we have Debrin's shop. So. How do I sell? Select a product to purchase. So on the top right, I have 5,520 DP, Debris points. I'm guessing. And I can buy weapons here. These are very expensive. Master key. GP30. What is this? Granite launcher. Suppressor. Nice. For the M4. I'll buy one of these. Uh, how do I sell? Dot side. Scope. Laser side. Flashlight. Foregrip. Rounds for the for this piece of I'm using. Uh, how do you sell? Can you sell too? His face was also blue. He could be a member of the Blue Man Group. Was his face blue? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we had to be with him uh, to sell. Let's go back to this costume. No jet? Okay. Ah. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through. Okay, I, I want to buy more rations or to get more. Okay. Are the geckos gonna get back? We just have to go f straight forward across this whole thing. Careful, snake. The walls could come down any second. Oh shit! Try to hurry. Or... How the hell do I get out of here? Hello? Can I climb? Can I? <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Um, how do I get past this? Should I use my RPG to blow the wall? Is there actual? Some way I can go here. I don't see any way to be honest. I guess back here. <laughs> I can see him. These are friendly, right? Oh shit, guys! Our mons are going down. Man down, man down! This is friendly? I don't fucking know. Can I go this way? I'm a bit lost. Almost. 
Bro, is this like a puzzle? Bro. Snake is uh, strong. Look at my stamina. Last so long. I guess I'm going this way. Okay. Gameplay? <laughs> really? <sighs> Is that Johnny? Who's there? Go, go away! I'm not done yet! What the hell? Uh, was this sneaking on the box? Hmm. Any poo poo? <laughs> That's Johnny. For sure. 100%. Like, I recognize that shit. Drum. Equipped to hide inside. So it's like it's like they're at the box. But it's a drum. What? In the first metal year we had the bucket. No, in the second, in the second, we had the bucket. What did what did the instant noodle do? I don't know what these items do. To be honest, I'm just gonna try them. Slide the bucket. Yeah, let me. Okay, let me... Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go. Can you? Can you like look? Oh. Well, that is that? I guess this can also protect me from uh, bullets, right? Where do I have to go? Just cross the street. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so funny. But it makes noise though. It's making noise. I can go up there. And try to be as non lethal as possible, as usual. And then I get diarrhea too. Can I go this way? Like, oh my god. Are these guys friendly? Well, I don't know, but no matter what he was, he is dead now. Oh shit, there's a mortar here. Should I use the more mortar against this? Boom! Not lethal, by the way. Okay, I'm behind enemy lines. Behind enemy lines. I'm sneaking through the whole battlefield. <laughs> so funny though. He was a non-lethal mortar. It was like a like a gas grenade to put people to sleep, you know?
Confetti bomb. Okay, we're getting closer. It's very cool. The, the Octa thing is very cool. I want to go through the left now. I'm literally crossing the whole thing without shooting anyone. Yeah, I got your back, bro. And without doing anything. <laughs> Just walking. Even the even the stun grenades are locked, really? Let's see. Like with this with the solid eye, you can see on the on the top right map, you can see every circle is like a soldier moving. I feel like I'm playing Insurgency. Right, I think we're gonna have to shoot. Bro, he pushed me. <laughs> it was. Holy shit. Hey, we're gonna have to cross the street. We're gonna have to cross the street. Armor! Protect me! Oh, alert. Shit. Oh, we cross, we cross. They're coming up. Ah, shit. Bro, can I... There you go. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. But luckily, we have some noodles. Can we... Okay, okay, okay. Alert is gone. How do I get past this? Are they on the windows or something? I don't see anyone here. Let me see, I have to go to that building, okay. Can I jump this? Nope. It would be nice if you could stick. Who's shooting me? Is there someone shooting me? Or is my own? My, let's say my side is like pushing with me. Along me. Oh, that's not my friend. Oh, why is that? That is not friendly, right? That guy over there. Guys, we got him. Oh shit! Run! Run! Airstrike. No, thank you. I guess I can use the RP into the PNC. I can kill it. Okay, we made it to the building. We made it to the building. Oh shit. 
Well, are you guys ready? We're gonna meet an old friend. Have you guys played this game or watching on YouTube or something? And do you know what's what's up? You know what's gonna happen? Nothing? Okay. Uh, that looks like a bomb, right? Do I have any grenades to use? The M4. I have the petrol bomb. Can I sell this? Buy. Remove the ID lock on this weapon. Oh, so you can easily if you remove that thing. Okay, so I want to do that for sure. So now we have stun grenades. Nice. No, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, the menus is not easy. Uh, weapons M4. It looks like a lantern to you. It looks like um like a handmade bomb. I guess I don't need the knife. I can stun. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. The AK... I don't think we need the AK. Let me equip the, the stun grenades. And this gun... This one has suppressor, right? Purchase ammo. Customized weapon. Oh, wow. Bottom mount. You can put a flashlight on it. Or the suppressor. That's very cool. I want to put the, the grenades. Oh, whatever. I just want to shoot this thing, basically. I shoot it from the, this distance. It may blow up on my face. Yeah. Ooh, there's a sniper on the roof. They're protecting their entrance. Any durability on the suppressor this time? Yes. You see, uh, it says soup, soup, and there's like a yellow bar. And on the right side, you can see like it's a little bit orange. Is the degradating there? I think. I saw that way too late. Oh my god, the ragdoll. I saw it way too late. Like, I saw it, but then, boom, didn't react in time. What is this? I don't know what this, all this stuff is. Um... Smoke grenade. You kind of remove the, the suppressor quick. So where do I have to go in this building? I have to go to the fourth floor. You guys see on the bottom right says 2F and the red circle is on 2 above. That means I had to go to the fourth floor. And I'm just exploring. Oh shit. Lasers. Snake, I'm detecting a trap in your vicinity. Yeah, I can see that. It's a bomb that uses an infrared sensor as a detonation trigger. It's a remote control device, and I'm detecting slight traces of volatile sleep gas. Trigger it, and you'll be knocked out. So be careful. <laughs> trigger it. Blech. 
a did trigger, but a different one. Uh, let's go to the to the floor above. Third floor. The environments are very well done, to be honest. It's crazy. Wait, 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 I wanna, I wanna see something. If I put this... Look at this, guys. I'm controlling their rock. So, what can I do with this? I can hit things. I can... Go invisible. What is this? I can go up and down. How did I do this? So you can scout without snake uh, being in any danger. This is very cool. <laughs> oh, there's a claymore there. He has battery too on the left. Bottom, bottom left, he has battery. I feel like I'm playing Wally. -E. I'm Wally. -E. Kitchen. Slap that ass. Do I need to pick it up again? No, I have it here, right? Okay, cool. Okay. Nothing in this floor. Let's go up. <laughs> Slap me. Hello? You press forward, you can vault. What was that noise? Okay, okay, okay. I believe here is where we have to go. Yep. <clears throat> okay, are you guys ready? Drop your weapon. All right. Here. E easy now. Don't move. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful. I'm no rookie. I'm a ten-year vet. <laughs> How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move. That voice. See, see. Real big boss, huh? Lower your weapon. She has the fox sound. Slowly now. I 
wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. Fox. Snake? Snake. Oh! It's Meryl! Meryl? Is that you? What happened to your face? Wow, rude. Accelerated aging. They don't know the cause. Oh my god. Meryl, you're my informant in the U.S. military. And you must be the inspector sent by the U.N. Akiba! Uh, uh, Commander! Uh, 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 Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CIA. Rat Patrol. One of the bodies investigating PMC activity. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. So funny. Because you might hear use a comedic master. Uh, and they really take their sweet times with the cinematics in this it's one. It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the <laughs> We're going to have to be very patient. This is like watching a movie, guys. This woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. Kojima's a funny guy. So, you're the commander of this O-1 unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. Ed, I'm gonna forget his name. Sleeping giant is Jonathan. <clears throat> Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. And finally, self references. Johnny. Johnny Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander. Uh. I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. Yeah, I'm happy I'm getting through the game without many stutters or crashes, at least. Someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. You quit the unit. Me? Huh. I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, hmm. I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. 
I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT security's system is in place, she knows. there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action. Bro, imagine. Whether he stayed that war is going to be like a video game, you know? So you're going to have like... Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano machines injected into their bodies for that purpose. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines in you, too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. Mm. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nano machines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee? That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. Mm. be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. Nanilule, no. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who's taken <laughs> under ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. Mm. By force, huh? When Arsoc heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. 
That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. Okay. When we reported that we'd found liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell. Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you've got to be kidding. You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl. This is bullshit. He's not my father. I was going to say, he is your father. I don't think she knows or if it's scan or not, but I think... When Meryl's mother, like when Meryl's father, supposedly father, went to the other, that war on Latin America, I think Campbell had an issue with her mother, and then so, she's actually you know. Campbell's daughter. Yeah. Little violation of the need to know role. Then. Why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl. Oh. <laughs> he uh, I make a plasma rifle. Remarried. Really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Wow. Who heard you, Meryl? I mean, Snake hurt her. <laughs> but to be honest, Commander. he's not the kind of man for what is it? a love life. There's 20 of them. Uh oh. And they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. Uh oh. It's the frog. The frogs. Troops. Oh crap. This is not good. Oh. Oh. Uh, were you being followed? No. <laughs> Akiba. They might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Whoa, wait, 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 hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, 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 no. Oh, it wasn't my fault, I swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh, man. Oh, look, I... What? Dumbass. We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. I'll fill you in later. If we're still alive. These enemies are not easy. I'm not sure if I can beat them with a tranquilizer gun, to be honest. Can I even headshot them with that helmet? I am not sure. Eye contact. I shall save the game, right? Because if the game crashes or something, I'm not sure. Use the stairs and get out through the back door on the first floor. 
We'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Akiba. 20 frogs. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move. Yeah, that transition into the gameplay though. So do you do that by cooking the noodles? This I'm just going for it. Just going for it. What the fuck? Why do they counter CQC you? I don't understand how that works. Okay. <laughs> Just be in the bait. Okay, first part completed. Let's go. Second one. Has Quasar saved the game? I saved at the beginning of this area, but... I'm guessing that is not enough. I mean, we didn't even finish the, the area. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, Otiko, thank you. I'm here, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> it's so funny how they fall. I'm moving, dog. What do you mean? Everyone here is sleeping. Let's go. Speed running. Speed running this shit, bro. Oh shit, they're behind me. No. I'm taking too much damage. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. One health. I hope the noodles heal me if I'm about to die. Hell yeah. The Russian. The legendary solid snake. Ouch. <laughs> Who's shooting me? Oh, what the hell? Get down. Where did they go? Oh. Ouch. Oh my god, they kick in the face. Okay. Am I losing hell? Am I bleeding or something? I don't know. Let's take one of... That doesn't do anything. When equipped, the Russian will automatically be used when your life got reaches zero. Uh, resource life, a bit of psyche, and warns the body when consumed. Oh, okay. So, the noodles don't heal you if you reach zero. I almost died there then. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I clear this shit already. Everything is clear. clear. Everything is clear. Let's go, boys. Clear. 
It's gonna take a poo poo. Oh my god, they turn invisible. They turn invisible. I hate those two. They're gonna go to sleep eventually. I'm hitting them, right? Oh no. That's really low. It's so oh, so hard to hit sometimes. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep on taking a shit again. Are they waking each other up? I hope not. Is it? <laughs> Why does it make that sound when he's pooping? Sounds like he's dropping gifts. Where are they going? Yeah, let's go, 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 go. Are we moving? Oh. Oh, we're, we're here already. Hold on, Snake. One of Akiba's traps is still in the way. Okay. Set too deep in the wall for the Mark II to get at it. You'll have to wait until Akiba gets there to disarm it. Okay, where is Akiba? Snake, Akiba's been knocked out. Okay. What? Where? Chow, 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 chow. Where is Akiva? Well, maybe he's on the bathroom like last time. <laughs> Akiva changing pants. Get down. Akiva's not gonna last much longer. Go back and save this sorry butt, Snake. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Right, I'm gonna save right after this cutscene. Again. He fell trying to change the. <laughs> he was trying to change his pants. And then. <laughs> okay, I cannot skip this, by the way. I'm trying to, but I, it's not working. Some cinematics, the, the short ones. You cannot skip them, only the long ones, I guess. Because this one takes like 20 seconds. Alright, I'm gonna save again. If I save every after section like this, I think I'm, I'm good. I also have stun grenades, you know? Bro, I can see shit. I'm gonna die. What if I use this one? Yeah, this one. That one gives you a lot. For this game, don't crash. I think I hit him. Or her. Can I go over this? I guess not. 
This way. Elevator. Hack the elevator, bro. <laughs> the floating guns, yeah. Oh, they're back. They're back. They took off the stealth camouflage. Okay, we got past the, the crash, at least. I'm gonna save after this, too. The transitions between those and this is very cool. Wait, I, can I be, can I can I mimic this? Nice. Sheesh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's save again. It doesn't take too long to save, which is good, right? This takes like 10 seconds. Ah, another cinematic. <gasps> Fox sound, special unit. Special force. Where are they uh, parking? Garage. Why is she wearing that bullet? Like an earring. Oh! It's an ambush. Oh shit, look at the rats. Okay. Snap didn't do shit, and Akiva didn't do shit either. You got heat. The nano machine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? <laughs> I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be alright? This get-up doubles as a muscle suit. I could still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Hmm. Akiba. One man's blunder. And compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Uh. Be careful, Snake. We're saying bye to Meryl for now. We're going a different way.
Oh man. Autocant. I love you, Meryl. She seems so much mature than the Metal Gear Solid oh, 1. Huh? I know where Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. Yep. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You'd think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy, he didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Meryl. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Meryl told us, Liquid should be there. Okay, are we gonna meet uh, Liquid? Holy shit, it's been a while. Brother. It's technically Ocelot, right? But I guess I'm gonna save Jet again. So, by the way, I wanted to comment on something. That whole exposition that Meryl gave, gave us before about the SOPs. Um, if you read any dystopian book, or it doesn't have to be dystopian, but any book about war or technology or something, <laughs> there about before I do an Akiva. Yeah, it's like Kojima is trying to portray the like a possible futuristic uh, uh, phenomenon, right? Of how war could be. And if you read like any like 1984, or if you read like A Brave New World, or if you read anything like technology and war related, like Kojima was just experimenting and like diving into that, trying to uh, portray different scenarios with this. And it's very interesting. It's just like if you read a chapter of a book of like, for example, if you read like 1984, like when they, when they describe the new language. On the when they talk about the government manipulating the citizens and all the stuff, the propaganda, all those little mechanics, right? It's like that, but applied to war, applied to like the the system, like they control the soldiers, controlling their bodies, controlling their their statistics, controlling everything, the information, then the in AI having all that. I don't know. It's like a, all that description. It's just very interesting to me. Right, so we have to go through there to the left. All the way there. All right, we got it. Let's come over here. A little bit darker. And let's get going. Sold. Oh, if you have too many, you sold them imme imme immediately, I guess. If you have too many of them. Ha. Let's see. Debris shop, camouflage items. I think we're fine. Okay, back to the streets. How do I get out? Middle East Crescent Meridian. Am I going the right way? Yeah. I have to take uh, the north or the left street. Can I rotate the map somehow? Oh. These are friendly, right? Okay. So I always have to go with the militia. Helping them push, basically. Oh shit, that's a tank. 
Uh, those are friendly, right? Yeah. Oh, grenade! Oh, smoke. I got your back, bro. Had to go to the what, east. Uh, more than good, bro. I'm the best. Boom. Like, I want to help them, but at the same time, I want to do my own thing, you know? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Yep, uh, I... I saw that coming. There is one guy there. Like, okay, it's so cool how the vision goes blurry. Oh, you can press triangle and then don't have to keep it pressed. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that makes everything so much easier. Let's go. We're pushing. I guess you can do this all this stuff if you know the pathing. You can do it uh, more optimal, right? Oh, can I go this way? Without fighting as much as I'm fighting, but I don't know the pathing or the map or anything, so it's my first time. This guy's friendly. Well, he was friendly. How many do they keep responding? Or? Are they infinite? They should both go to sleep here. You guys should go to sleep soon. Bro, are they infinite enemies or? I guess I can just do this. This is probably a better way on the left side. But this is fine too. Shit. We tried to go to the right there. Yeah. We tried to go to the right there. Yeah. Bro, the camera shake. Why do they only want me, though? I'm gonna go this way. We're close to the... No, we're not. Holy shit, that's so far. If I jump down here, I'm gonna probably be surrounded by enemies, right? But I can always do this. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Never mind. We were not at the objective yet, though, but I guess it counts.
If I put these guys a uh, costume, will the enemies uh, get alerted because it's me? Or it will not the alert will not trigger. I'm not sure. Uh oh. When are the geckos gonna Oh, what do I talk? I think that's a gecko. What is that? Is that a robot or something? Like a robot, headless lion, tiger, something. The beast. Oh shit! Rage. Is this a boss fight? I don't know. Oh shit! It's like Solidus. Okay. My control? Like a puppet. Oh, look at them. Psychomantis. So this is like the special unit, like the uh, the enemies, the enemy team. It's very cool. They seem very like variety in uh, what they can do in abilities and skills so I'm guessing each of the fights is gonna have a very different strategy do I have to fight any of them right now though? they're like woman crying So one is crying, the other one is laughing. The other one is on rage. They're like different emotions. And that one seems like a master of puppets. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Uh, save. Senzu Bean, a good old MGS4. Hope you don't mind the long cutscenes. I don't. I don't mind. In this one, they are extra long for no reason. Like they're like kind of slow, you know. Go northwest. But it's okay. We've been playing through the all the Metal Gear games. We play Metal Gear One, Two, Solid One, Solid Two, Solid Three. Now we're in Solid Four. <laughs> so we are. I think I'm gonna do. I will try Peace Walker. Then I'll try Rising. And then I will do five. These are enemies, right? Yeah. Let's just wait. MGS4 ties in all the stories, making it mind-blowingly good. Yeah. I can see that, but... I don't like that it is exclusive to PS3. 
Let's see. Hey. Yeah. Oh my god, the 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 the, the, the textures here are a little bit laggy. Oh shit. So we have to go there. Yeah. But welcome, Sensu Uh We have a couple of crashes. Uh, but that's why I'm saving often. So if, in case I crash, that's the building we have to go, right? It's gonna be hi highly guarded, I'm guessing. Oh, there's a freaking guy in a machine gun. Do you still remember the stories and character in the other games? Of course. We I played all Metal Gears in the last two weeks. In the last two weeks, all of them. Now, let's see how do we do this. I could tank down that guy. Oh, this guy's coming back. Um, let's keep going. How, f how much is he gonna come back? I need to take down this guy first. He's coming all the way. Let's go around here. This is my first time playing this game. I watched it on YouTube many years ago. I don't remember much. But I remember, obviously, the most uh, important parts, let's say. Guys, go in there with the other guy. Excellent, don't forget to click, click, click when you see the X Pro in the upper right corner for the flashback. Yeah, I've been doing that so far. Except for the first one, for, because I was like, I hope I don't skip this by clicking this. But I didn't, so. Then we see, you see some flashbacks from uh, other games. Should be one more guy here, no? Or, or at least one. One there. Let's put the eye. Mm, why does it show the circles? Can, can, can it be rats and animals and shit? I'm not sure. We can go. Let's put some grass. Yeah, I'm a snake. I'm a snake now. There's a guy on a tower there. I mean, this guy, this way. And I really wish you could, like... Um... Something there? Nothing here, bro. Nothing to see. There's probably, like, uh, storage, like, uh, resources in that room. Use your imagination, bro. Get up. What? Get up. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to drag him. How do you drag him? Oh, there. <laughs> so you can't do that. Okay. I didn't know that. Can I put it in the dumpster? No? Well, I'm going to have to shoot him again. Oh, they're seeing the other guys I put to sleep out outside. That's fine. A Russian, I will I will like that. Thank you. Alright, we should be close to where we have to go, right? This is an hitman. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have to go out there and then to the right. Okay. Why is this kind of bad here? I should have entered that building, right? All right, too late. Look at this crawling. Holy. I'm gaming, guys. I'm gaming! <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> uh. 
Wait, can I enter this? Never mind. Yeah, straight ahead. Okay. What is that sound? Helicopter. Is liquid picking up? Can I freeze in this game the enemies? This is HQ. Hands up. Oh, you can. Okay, so they. I guess they saw the guy sleeping. That's why they're doing that, but we're fine, right? <laughs> as soon as they were coming, the reinforcements, we just go there. That's funny. Is the high in D? The hand doubled, you know. It's the technology, it's the future, you know. Oh, I failed the focus on challenge. She. <laughs> oh, those are the geckos, right? Connection problems. Wait here. That's a lot of soldiers. Be careful, Snake. That's the man. Uh, visual confirmation on the target. And that's the woman always on the picture, right? Is he sensing me? Liquid Ocelot. It's like when Goku and Vegeta becomes one, you know? Oh, look at them. Meryl is there. Is that the fr same frequency yeah, that in the first you're game? You're here to kill Liquid, aren't you? That's the mission. Are you going oh, to yeah. stop me? My mission is to inspect the PMCs. I'm not in a position to take action. All I can do is stand by and watch. I can't help you, understand? I'm a peacekeeper, here to keep order. Understood. Mm, yeah, because we never told her that we are actually coming for Liquid. We just told her we're coming for the PMCs. <clears throat> One second. Activate it. Did he know something? Is he smelling the ambush or something? Uh oh. The Gagas are back. Wait, why is he gonna use them against his own soldiers? I guess he doesn't care. Oh, I guess... 
they can interfere with the nano machines on their bodies and fuck them up, cause nausea or something. You feel okay, Akiva? Hacked. Yeah. Akiva is immune. Maybe Akiva doesn't have the nano machines. That's why he's shitting himself all the time. Because it's, it, they don't control his digestion and shit. What the hell? He activated Cthulhu frequency. The Cthulhu effect. <laughs> I'm going mad. I'll respond to you, Sansu. Mysterious woman. Yeah. Damn. She's injecting herself. For the next stream, I'll activate V-Sync.
Oh, so that's why the guy on the right was like, the, we have having some communication problems, right? Because Liquid is what's going to activate that whole thingy. And he's got his own uh, Gecko army too. Is that Akiba? He's saving us. He's the only one immune to all this shit. Maybe uh, diarrhea prevents uh, all these effects. <laughs> what the hell was this? Was this act number one? I guess. I don't know. That's safe, yes. Alright, so... Please let me... Talk? <clears throat> oh, now we're gonna see the ca mission briefing. I think we already saw this before. Yeah, you can also be view this on mission briefing for the main menu. We saw this before because I thought it was gonna be like briefing before the game itself. But it's not. Similar to like the Metal Gear Solid 1 briefing. Oh, we already seen this. I want to see the first dialogue from Campbell because I missed I missed one line. But to respond to you, sense of being, who more do you hope to see a return in the game? So you mean previous characters from previous games to see a return in Metal Gear Solid Four? Is that what you mean? Yes. Okay. So I watched this game on YouTube because I couldn't I could not play myself. I watched this game on YouTube around five, six years ago, I think. So I already know who returns. I think, but I don't remember very well, actually. It's been, a, it's been a while. Oh, look at Olga. Oh, wait. Is Sunny? Oh, shit. Sunny is uh, Olga's baby. Ah. Uh, makes sense. Makes sense. Because the Patriots were holding their baby. And Ryden succeeded on his mission. So we rescue uh, Olga's baby. Oh, that makes sense. I didn't know that. Oh, but this is different, though. This is different from the mission briefing from before. I remember the sun being so flat. Wow. Sorry. I'll dig in right away, Sonny. And would you make That's a shame, it's okay though. I was curious. <laughs> so, does Riding come back for this game? And then Eva. And we also we already saw Meryl, Campbell, Otacon, Snake. How long was I out? A whole day. How do you switch? Yeah. Oh, I can I can use the robot. That's so funny. Don't worry. They're doing fine. I guess you can discover secret stuff with that thing. Liquid got away. You okay? My body just seized up all of a sudden. This is normal. It's not my joints or muscles. It looked like the PMC soldiers all went haywire in mass too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM field. Mm. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped. Mm. <sighs> oh, what was that? Naomi. Naomi was at liquid side. Yeah. Autocon. Did you see her? No, but you're right. Naomi was there. I found traces of her. So the mission briefing I saw before was pre-game, and then every act there will be another so one of these cutscenes, mission briefings in between. Why? Right there. Here, let me show you something.
right after it all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was sent to my old address. A video from Naomi? With a cigarette? Really? Sunny? Don't help him. Don't give him cigarettes. But you haven't even eaten any. Uh, we grown ups uh, have to watch our caloric intake, you know. Oh, but thank you. <laughs> wow. Can I remove this thingy? You're not watching your n -n nicotine intake. Uh, oh, there you go. You really hurt her feelings. Yeah. Why don't you teach her how to cook eggs then? Oh, like I know how to cook. Hey, check this out. Let's see the video. Data's been quarantined, no viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's, and I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. Deep fake, because you might go into the deep fake in 2008, guys. Sneak, I'll make this quick. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP. Sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use. She helping us? PMCs are third generation. Maybe Liquid just third capture her to make force her to work, but she's uh, the basic technology is still the trying same. to leak. First generation. I was the one who created the first generation, a nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Die. Hmm. Nine years ago at Shadow Moses. Nine years ago. I injected it into your body, Snake. So this is 2014. The technology used in Fox Dye was incorporated. Uh, that was DARPA shift. Really, by SOP. That's why Old Liquid has been helping him hijack the system. Because I know how Fox Dye works. Okay. Liquid's found a loophole he can use to get into the system. Preparations for his insurrection are nearly complete. There's no time to waste. Snake. So she's hurry. being held hostage to help Liquid do this uh, insurrection. Send her location data in a separate file. But she's not. She doesn't want to be part what of that. What the hell is that? It's a type of encrypted data. Sunny decoded it for us. Remember now? Oh, Sunny's a smarty, huh? This data from the Solaton radar you used to shadow Moses. I'm guessing Naomi wants us to know the message truly is from her. Sending the map data. That's the island in Alaska. Pretty clever. And Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. Oh! Hello, Snake. The, the data she sent was 4D sound data. I, I don't know how Solaton radar works, but all I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. You seem pretty cool, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Campbell. Snake, as you'll recall, following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet too. The male stepmother. Actually, liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. South America. Chances are, 
The location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual probe. There's an ongoing skirmish between a new regime put into power by PMCs and a Police rebel Nuts. army formed by remnants of the old one. The rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really pure Ramamon, one of the PMCs under Outer Heaven control, that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True. But even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sonny trace the origin of Naomi's nail. The address is fake, but Sonny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible, though. Colonel, where's Meryl? Well, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of liquid. I'm sure our sock is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Huh. Which leaves Naomi as our only lead. I've secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. Oh. I'll be acting as a UN inspector. He That's just decides for us. That's about 20 hours. 20 hours. Holy shit, bro. And what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, Snake. We're gonna change scenarios for this Naomi mission. From the Middle East to the Latin South American mountains and uh, forest. Okay. Okay. Thanks. The rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. The commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. 20 hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can. Okay. I like how Snake was like, we are not 100% sure she's there, you know? And then he's like, okay, fine. <laughs> we'll go. Convinced. Oh, man. I'm not sure how much I should keep playing. Because that was one act. Solid, son. So before it was liquid sun, right? Okay, so this is gonna be similar to Metal Gear Solid 3, I guess. We are in a forest jungle kind of thing. Yep. Colonel, how deeply are they involved in all of this? The Patriots, you mean? The data we got from Arsenal Gear was a load of crap. Twelve founders who have all been dead for a hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist nope. today. If the purpose of this battlefield control system is to control IDs, it fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing control of the world's ID systems and then using them to manipulate the economy and information flow. For the Patriots, that's the ultimate prize. You might say the Patriots are the embodiment of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago, it's all come to pass. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. Now, with the media and global opinion under complete control, not even the UN can stand up to them. Yo, Sensu, are you there? 
against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has Ooh. taken up Big Boss. That was a big stutter. An age of persistent universal warfare. A world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the outer heaven Big Boss envision is already a living reality. You mean no. the MCs and their war business? Right now, Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy wars for them. We must be dying to break free of their spell. Beneath the surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. And no matter who wins, the world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake, what we call peace is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we modern control civilization. Track the system. Yeah, like it's like capitalism when it's trying to perpetuate the status quo, and then Liquid and Solidus and Big Boss wanted to change it to something else. But I don't agree with any of them. But I'm closer to Big Boss after having vision than this, for sure. Or what the Patriots wanted. Total control. That's where she is. Assuming the data is correct. And one more thing. What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano. Oh, the oxygen. Meaning? Meaning the low blood yeah. oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nano machines, giving them a slight edge in battle. Be careful. Steer clear of altitude sickness. Got it. Are they gonna fucking kill them all? Oh, that's one of, yeah. They haven't told us the name of this yet. Who the hell is this guy? Bam. Bam. Oh, I didn't remember this guy was in this game. Okay. Oh, it looks like me. They know I'm here. And if they can look at me, they can frame me, right? That motherfucker again? Yeah. Holy. Mind that we are in South America. Is it the same voice actor? Also with Naomi. Did Naomi have the same voice actress? She sounds very similar. Is Evil Snake Conquer in America? <laughs> this is the face of the bastard who killed your comrades. Oh, they're trying to portray Snake as a bad guy. I see. I don't know, man. I don't know. More guerrillas will be coming to storm the safe house. He must be among their numbers. This is Deb Debring. Sooner or later, he will come. Don't let down your guard. Look, he still has this car of the headshot from the second game. Does he know we're here? He has all the tags, too. <sighs> no, okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Bro, how long have I been without playing? How many cinematics in a row do we have? Like, literally half an hour. What the hell? That was Vamp. I'm sure of it. I'll never forget that face. Those were PMC soldiers with him. Is he involved in Liquid's plan? We watched him die in Manhattan. Damn it, he won't leave us alone. Snake, could Vamp be immortal? Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy true. game. True, true that, Kojima. I swear, the next time he shows up, <laughs> not now, Otacon. All Tycon is having the same reaction as mine in the future. <laughs> Snake. According to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility I want to talk with Mei Ling. Held this to the north along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling, what's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri, that's a World War II battleship. The museum contract yeah, in Hawaii is real life. expired some time ago. I hear so this is only nine years after okay. Shadow Moses. This is right. only nine years after Metal Gear Solid One. Used to on an only nine vessel. years. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses. That's why a snake has accelerated aging. It looks like it's past thirty years for him. Her age. That's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for her older men. Hmm. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. <laughs> Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Uh, no. What? At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember, the conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason yeah. for you to get involved Shots or fire. take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs. So if base. I help the locals, it'll the make my mission easier. Makes held. sense. If you aid the rebels, yeah, I'll weaken the, some of the, PMCs the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. Yeah. That freak I just saw with the tentacles. Was it using the same octo camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually, I kind of based it on some design Sonny snagged off the net. And Sonny is a prodigy. From DARPA. <laughs> so in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry, I guess I should have told you. <laughs> By the looks of things, they know I'm coming too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. Okay. I'll take on. Head uh, to the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. I hope you wear their blue sweater soon. Oh, let's save. I don't want the game to crash. I have to. All right, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna go, but yeah. So I have 46 bullets. Can I buy ammo from Debrins? Oh, look at this mosing. Holy shit. 60,000. Should I buy the mosing, guys? It's very tempting. Very, 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 very tempting. Sleep gas mine. <whistles> Sleep gas with remote trigger. Oh, nice. Speaking of frozen, my neck is killing me. Gonna lay down a bit. Yeah, polygon. Thank you for the lurkies. Emotion mag. The beauty and the beast. And it's all those creatures we saw before. Nice. Volume 4. Suppressor. Oh, it tells you which weapons you can use it there on the right side. Uh, what is this? Oh, I need this. And I'm going to buy the mostly. The, the monkey from the prince. I'm gonna buy the mosing. Yeah. Bye bye, money. <laughs> bye bye, money. So we're gonna put. I'm gonna take away this stun knife and put the mosing. 
Uh, how do I sell this shit, bro? I guess I don't have to sell it. All right, here we go. Stand up. Oh, I have no ammo, though. Let's see how this will... Bro, that's a long sniper. So, aim. Boom. And then... That's cool. I got a fucking huge sniper. So where do I have to go? Right, and then... Oh, is that, that's a long way. That's a long way to go. Let's do this. Sneaking time. I'm gonna actually... Oh wow, the other guy outside here the shot too. HQ, do you read? This is HQ. Huh? Move. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Going it's lagging order. now. Acknowledge. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. And now the rebels are gonna wake up, right? Okay, let, let's use the Mosin. The Oh, I don't have it equipped. The Mosin doesn't have a a suppressor, right? Does it? No, it doesn't make noise, right? Oh, it does. Holy shit. <laughs> Very loud. I hate that guy. Okay. They're fighting back. Let's help them. Let's help them. Oh. Let's go inside the house. Oh, they kill everyone, though. No, that's, that's a friendly. That's a friendly. How do I get up there? Oh, look Come on, snake. Grab the fucking edge. What the hell? Where did that guy go? What? What was that? Fire! Cover! Oh shit! Are they shooting me? I have no alert, so they should not be shooting me. Who is the guy who saw me up here? I don't see him on the map. That's friendly. Oh, he's sleeping. There's someone sleeping up there. Bro, they're looking for me. Why? I just help you, bro. I just help. I just help you. I'm Gorilla side. Oh, yes, rub my ass. <laughs> okay. If this guy is gonna be annoying, I'm gonna put him to sleep too. Scrap this guy's weapon. Wait, what? Let's go this way. Oh, shit. Someone shoot it. Bro, this guy's gonna die. Can I climb this? Yeah, I know. We got company. Bro, you're giving me away, man. 
You're ruining my stealth mission. <laughs> well, that's caution. Why is that caution? Oh, I don't want to grab this guy. Are friendly though. Oh, you again. What happened? There you go. Very nice. Hell yeah, brother. Let me use this, and it's probably gonna go into caution. Oh, right, we're in caution again, but it's gonna refresh, right? But it's gonna be so much easier. Look at this guy. Boom. <laughs> oh, I didn't actually refresh the caution. Holy shit, it must be hit star, bro. <laughs> oh, yes. I wish I had thermal. I wish I had thermal, man. I hope I get thermal eventually. Bro, who are you shooting to? There should be more, right? Oh, there. Enemy contact. Oh, thanks. Got you, bro. Save his life. Ah. The only problem is I'm going the same way as these guys are going, so I should like flank, you know. I should like flank around. Nice. Damn, you're good. Should be wait, did I hit this guy around the house actually? I'm not sure. Where did that other guy go? Something there? Someone is looking at me. Huh? Maybe it was my own team? Just my imagination. No, no, it sounds like down there. Who is that? Oh, it's me. What are you doing here? I'm helping you! <laughs> right, we're getting there, we're getting there. There is more paths to go. Should I explore more? I just I kinda wanna go to the for the story to be honest. Let's get, just keep going. Guys, don't follow me, please. I'm on, so, I'm on a solo mission here. <laughs> Wait, what is this frequency? Snake, there's someone oh. I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A psychological counselor. Yeah. Psychological counselor. A lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle. End up panicking. Bro, too awful this shit. be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC yeah, and rebel soldiers. She? Rosemary. Oh, Rose is here too? I did not remember Rose was here. Wait, is Rose the wife of Campbell? Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon, but moved to Campbell huh? during the big show. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP, Jay? the Combat Stress Platoon. Yeah, I hear psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity, all without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Since the passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147.79.
Her advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. Yeah, this is like a stress meter, right? So that has to come for something. Mind, body, technique. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and okay, focused okay, on okay, the okay. mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Merrill was talking about. Is Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack, from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. We lost all trace of him. <gasps> Jack's gone. I used to work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? I was consoling her over her loss. And one thing just led to another. Wow. She's enough to be your daughter. Yeah. Lucky me, huh? Wow. Now I see why Merrill was so disgusted. Merrill said something about me. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Colonel, you knew she was our informant in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I use my Bro, he always hides information from me. You want Every time. You daughter someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look. Anybody involved in the incident at hey, Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Merrill and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Merrill wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. Huh. Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. In any case... Call Rosemary if you ever need advice. Okay, so wait, so is my psyche the thing below my hell? I guess. I only have five shots left. So I guess I'm gonna switch to this. And I guess you can also buy most in ammo. Push, push! How are you doing? Bro, I really would like to. What is that thing on the map? Animals? What, what happened? Huh? What? Wait, 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 guys. Where are they are mines? I don't know. Oh, it's you. Of course it's me, dog. Bro, I feel like there is an ambush here or something. Is someone there? What's going on? I like that guy, for example. Guys, you're bringing them to me. What the fuck? Damn it. Hey. Where's the enemy? This fucking guys, I swear. They literally walked past by me. The enemy saw them and then they saw me. That's fucked up. Bottom. Alright, let's th let let them fight. We go our own way. We flank. Boom. Nah, nah, bro. Oh shit. Boom, stun grenade. Oh fuck, the last one, I, the one I didn't hit. So, uh, but we took a lot, a lot, a lot of them now. Does that white indicator tells me that there's an enemy there, maybe? Who's that? Hmm. <sighs> 
Uh, I'm getting used to the controls. So that's what happens when I take down all the enemies, I guess. That's so funny. It's celebrating. Okay, let's go. Stress. The stress is increasing. So if I call uh, Rose, she will like give me some therapy. In the what? What's wrong, Snake? Who is this? Snake. That voice. There's an ambush ahead. Government and PMC. Deep throat? Mr. X? Watch your surroundings. My fun? Look to the distance. Is this? It sounds like Ryden. Jack is dead. Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna save. That's cool, that's cool. There's so many characters in this game. Like Sensu said before, tying everything up actually. Nice. I I do not I don't remember it. so many things from this game, you can tell. Got some digestive problems again, don't know where it comes from. I'm gonna take a foot into our instead soon. Let's go! Do it. The rendezvous point is just up ahead. Over there! What? What is happening? Over there! I'm just a sniper, you know? Boom. I stopped moving. Boom. Boom. One bullet left. Let, let's buy some ammo. Handguns, some machine rifles. Bullets. Or the mosling. Holy shit, they're expensive. Oh, but they give you a lot. Let's get like 40. <laughs> Bro, that's broken. Get behind him. Oh! oh, that guy hot. That guy. Oh my god. I really like how in, in all the Metal Gears, it's like a solo mission. The solo? But this game feels like more like you're. One more in the middle of the battlefield. Oh, they keep responding. Holy shit! I'm gonna flank right. How did they see me though? Oh, they have machine guns. I need to be careful. They hear me, man. That's the only problem with the Mosin. Can I buy a suppressor for the Mosin? Alright, that guy's dead. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the pistol. I don't want. I, I don't want to be triggering alarms. I don't want to be triggering alarms all the time like that. I think I hit him. <laughs> that guy's sleeping. What? So my stress is... My stress is very high, so my aim starts like I I, I aim worse. So we are we're gonna call. Um, how do you see the Otacon Rosemary? Snake, are you all right? You tell me. You seem to be having problems with your psych. It works well. Finally, we had a couple of crashes. I had to restart a couple of times. Uh, we lost around. 20 to 30 minutes of progress because of the crashes. 
but I am trying to save as, as often as possible. How do I reduce the stress? I guess not being in the middle of the... I guess not being in the middle of the fight. It's going really high though, but I can always take... This... Psyche. I'm not sure if that worked. Can I shoot through here? Nice. Look at this guy. This guy's clueless. Well, is that? Bro, what? Oh shit. I'm gonna die! I need to heal. I'll have more of those. But other than that, Loon, the game has been working fine. I don't really know how to do this part. Nice, got a rush in there. We put the this. Go, go, go! Any more soldiers? I guess I gotta shoot through there. So where do I have to go, though? I uh, pass this building to there. Okay. Move. Move. Twenty-two bullets. Fire. What? Who saw me? Oh, what the hell? Uh, what? Okay. C4. Hey, bro. So, I guess, bro, I broke all my stress. My stress. My psyche is uh, very low. I don't know how to regenerate that to be honest. These guys are breaking the whole electric power. Oh, we did something. Well, I should have saved, right? Uh, where did everyone go? Bingo? Yes, that's gonna re relieve my stress. <laughs> he knows it. Oh. A monkey? Drebin is here. What is it they bring? I think he's Drebin. Fucking monkeys smoking. Oh, yo, keep over here. Yeah. You come on, 
Hop in. It's getting rough out there. I don't think so. You say, Eric, I think he puts it there for no littering, not to smoke it later. I think I'm not sure, though. Especially in the, uh, especially in the CIA, you know, those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East, they let me track your location. Yeah, I thought the same at the beginning. I need to keep my controller. B and Beast. The Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. So that's the name of these. Uh... Their squad of enhanced female soldiers belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. Okay. That's a female. Probably freelancers hired by the PMCs. They run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drebin to let you in on Drebin. the Such a weird name. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B and B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. Some a guy, guy huh? named uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. Wow. Old, uh, Cheer up. That's the bad news. Is this stream breaking and buffering? No. Word Looks fine for me. Oh no, yes. Beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Bad. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post traumatic. It damaged their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. Ooh. A tragic and background for the BMBs. Deep within. The beast. That's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake. <laughs> War transforms us. But deep within that shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. Word going round is their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. Mm -hmm. They think it's gonna free them from maybe all the Bab is uh, the leader. The fury and all the sorrow, which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. Oh shit! <laughs> the sorrow, the fury again. The one you just saw was raging raven. There's also laughing octopus. Laughing octopus, crying wolf. And finally, the mistress of mind control, screaming mantis. Screaming mantis. So it's like a callback to all. There used to be a guy by that name. To all their enemies from all their Metal Gear. Psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B and B's minds in check with her powers. Oh, she is. Raven, Wolf, Mantis, you got it. They're the snake hound unit. 
and they've got you in their sights. <laughs> what the hell? Shit. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Driven. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no lale lule. <laughs> I mean, you didn't finish. I know. Patriot. Ah, uh, fishy. Sus. You could say Patriot. Sus as fuck. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these Patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. We are formless. And the candle from Solitza. That Americans invoke so often. Turn off your console. The Patriots are America, the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy. Which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning, but now their law has taken on a life of its own. <laughs> life of its own. Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple information processing system. An AI. Hmm. It works just like natural law. AI dictatorship. The world's a much Skynet. simpler place than most folks realize. And it's crazy how powerful they are that even they make 99.99 .99 of the population not like it might be so powerful that they cannot even say your name by default. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriots' AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS, I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Mm. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the it's super like the, rich would open the dark bank web. accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by... You guys have to think that this game is from 2008, okay? It won't be long before people start using Haven. Hey, all these concepts and ideas I guess you were very gun laundering futuristic, I would say. The Haven concept, after a fashion. Even so. Good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. Like it has a lot of elements of a uh, like I said, dystopian AIs from the outside. Piece of art. Got something in mind. You sure there's no way? Like novels and stuff, right? Are you an old snake? I am. Look. I'm just a gun long. I'm not sure if you how if you have been following this story, Lund. It's because you start a lot of fire. But Snake was a, is, is like a clone of the of the snake from the you need me. game we played before. Give me a ring. It's like his song. But since his uh, genes are got extracted from him when he was old, so today I didn't follow. So but it's basically he has accelerated aging. He could be like thirty, but look like sixty, you know. And he only has one one year of of life left because of the fox die uh, virus and everything. You, I have you. So that's why he doesn't care about smoking. Opposite of Jill, basically. Yep. Jill took his snakes uh, eight uh, years. <laughs> Jill doesn't age. Snake. Uh, so this game is nine years after. Bro, how do I stop this stress? Still grow, it's still going up. 
Do I need to eat or something? I don't know how to... Let me catch an animal. I got to eat or something. I have literally no stamina. And my stress going so high. And I have no idea why. Let me let me save. Let me save. Regain takes away straight. Yeah, but I don't have more regains. So I just want to know how to do it automatically, you know? Okay, so I have to go that way. Cool. That was weird. Triple I buy some more ammo. Let's keep going this way. What? I'm happy I can play the game. Right? Emulator is working. I hope I can play all the way through. I ho I'm scared I reach a certain part of the game where it's like it crashes non-stop and it doesn't actually let me go. You know what I mean? Pretty decent for an emulator, yeah. This makes me want to play the God of War. God of War 3. Should I do should I do all Metal Gear saga and then all God of War saga? I, I need to finish Resident Evil. This is Jack, isn't it? I am Raiden. Jack is no Raiden. Where are you now? I'm right beside you. Right beside wow. me. Where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? On a mission. Finding something. For someone. Finding what? The corpse. Of Big Boss. What? I was asked to do this in exchange for Sonny's location. Liquid? No. The leader of a small resistance group. Her followers call her Matka Pluku. Matka Pluku. Big Mama. Big Mama. <laughs> We'll finish this later. I'll follow your trail and catch up with you. Wait, what about the boss's body? It's with her now. Is the audio cutting because the game itself? On, or is it Rose, them let her fucking up? I just up? got a call from Raiden. It sounds like he's close by. Jack? Yeah. Did, did he seem okay? Yeah, as far as I could tell from his voice. Really? Oh, that's great. Snake, I have a favor to ask. What? Don't let him know I'm involved in this operation, okay? I think it would be best to just leave him alone for now. What happened between you and Jack? After the Big Shell incident, he became unstable. Memories began to resurface from his childhood when he fought for Solidus in the Liberian Civil <sighs> War. And in the midst of all of that, the baby we had together... Oh, what? It, it hadn't even been born yet. Jack slowly stopped coming home, and when he did, he'd be dead drunk, sometimes covered in cuts oh, and bruises. Shit. Roy was worried he was Jack's commanding officer, but Jack just avoided him. I was all alone. I mean, after being tricked by the Patriots' Roy impersonation of you too. So kind to me. He's the one who encouraged me to become a counselor. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I needed to get over it. To move on with my life. I'm worried about him, of course, but I'm also afraid of him. All right. I'll keep my mouth shut. I understand that part, Rose, Thank but the whole Campbell you. thing? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Okay, for real. For real, for real. How do you reduce... I need some, I need some PTSD therapy here, bro. Need something? Yes. What's up, Doc? Your psych is at an extremely dangerous level. You need to take immediate action to recover it. How? Got it. 
Snake, what makes you tense? Stressors, the factors that cause stress, can be divided into several types. Okay. They can be psychological, social, biological, chemical, or physical. In battlefield terms, that corresponds to the presence of enemies, the battlefield environment, biological and chemical weapons, and physical wounds and hunger caused by combat. Any of these factors can cause oh, stress. Oh, am I hungry? So you need to pay attention not only to your health, but also to your psych, especially when engaged in combat. So what, which of those stress is affecting me? I don't know, man. Oh shit, that is not friendly. I'm missing something. I don't know what to do with the stress. I need to eat noodles. Oh, I have noodles. That got me, got me a little bit, but it's still decreasing really fast. So, it, I, I don't understand, man. Or maybe... Maybe I'm carrying too many heavy weapons? Can I just unequip this? There you go. Maybe I'm carrying too much shit and it's too heavy, you know? So let's put the solid eye. NK, sure, it's not too heavy. The box. And then the rations. <laughs> uh, the cigarettes. What if I smoke? Will that work? <sighs> Holy! Bro, I just need a fucking... I just need to hit the fucking sick, bro. Holy shit. It reduces a lot of your health, huh? but it's worth it. It's a worth trade. Okay, that's funny actually. Especially near the cinematic. Oh, that was bad. Fucking hell. Who's calling? Fuck. Bro, my health. My health. <laughs> okay, but we, we reduce the stress a lot there. Now, why is it reducing the stress now? Maybe if it's low, it reduces on itself. But it's, if it's higher, it will increase by itself. Does that make sense? Yes. The camo is so cool. I don't want to go in the middle of the road, if I'm honest. Huh? Fucking bitch. Okay, okay, we got him, we got him. I want to go... Climb this. I want to go on the top of this. this is HQ. All clear. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. Hell yeah, brother. Look at this guy. Oh, he's leaving. Never mind. He's gonna fucking snipe his head. Come on, you can do this! So 
so the the silk around you kind of tells you if he, if he lives it tells you where the enemies are that's very cool let's try to not get more alerts come on man i wish they give you night vision like thermal thermal goggles with a solid eye that would be super cool i hope you can get a ledger though You see how that activates? Yeah. Let's see, how do we do this? Mm -hmm. There's one behind, one on the tower. Two here. I'm gonna assume there's one or two more behind the houses. So first we're gonna take down the guy in the tower. This is gonna be a hard shot. It's so bad I miss. He's moving his head, so it's kind of hard to. Oh, no. That's a good shot. Fucking kidding me. What was that for? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. That was so funny. There should be one more though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool how it says phrase like quiet. Oh caution. Head to go, bro. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who's a snitch? Who's a snitch? Who? Oh, this guy here. Okay. Where are you going, boy? <laughs> it tried. It tried to turn the corner. Bro, I need to find rations and shit. Oh, this is regain, regain. Yes, yes. Who is? Yeah, thank you. Understood. All clear. The state of alert has been lifted. There you go. Resume positions. I need to find rations, noodles, compress. I need compress. <laughs> decent shooting, decent shooting. I can do better. I want to do it without being detected. Fox sound style, you know. So I have to go this way. Okay. Oh, I need this. Yeah. 
I mean, the ammo is not too expensive anyway, so whatever. So there's one guy that I haven't seen apparently. Maybe it was the the first guy I knocked down. He woke up already. Yeah. Okay, new area. Mansion? We're going to a mansion? Wow, what a mansion! What the hell is this place anyways? Vista Mansion, bro. I feel like I'm infiltrating Scarface place. I'm gonna save again. I'm very glad I discover. So I'm getting stress again. I don't know why. Oh, the gorillas are back. Let's go. Go, go, go. Flanking, flanking, flanking. Yeah, well, they're gonna be right here. Yeah. I think I hit him. Good luck, guys. Five bullets. I need to buy. Need to buy ammo, bro. There you go. Oh, what is happening? Oh shit! Snakes in the grass. Hell yeah. The rebels have got an armored dozer. Yes. They're probably going to use it to bust their way into the mansion. Okay. Give it some cover and it might get you inside the Okay, go, 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 go. So I need to help them. Go, 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 bro! I didn't have to do anything. Boom! <laughs> A la guerra! A la ataque! Oh, look at the mansion. Imagine thinking you were safe. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Cover! Move! Lucky. Oh, holy shit. Naomi's lab is somewhere inside those mansion grounds. One, two, three. I, I, I. This reminds me of when I play Sniper Elite. It's Sniper Elite 4. You know? Bro, my screen is so freaking... Dirty. Stop shooting mortar, guys. I'm infiltrating behind enemy lines. Don't hit me. Music. Give me the music. Oh, you can do this. Oh, God, you have to like really push against the wall to do that. Wait, this is gorilla? How the hell did you guys get here so fast? Man, they're giving away my cover. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Who's shooting? Inside the house, I guess. This really feels like a... Uh, sniper Elite. It's gonna fall. Almost. Okay, go, go, go. I know there's one more there, but I'll I'll let them deal with that one. So I have to go back here. How? How do I get to that house? 
Maybe inside the house there is a tunnel? Like a basement thingy? That goes to the other way? Goes. Oh shit. This guy didn't even notice me. Time to, time to sleep, boy. Maybe I have to go around here. The good thing in this game is if you can buy ammo, especially on the bosses. You are... They are free, right? You don't have to like save ammo or be worried about having ammo. Can I go this way? Bro, how the hell are you coming from there? Yeah, let's get inside the house. Bridge and clear! Bridge and clear! Oh my god. Are you sure about that? Enemy here. I need to find noodles and uh, rations and shit. Play boy, let's go. Man, the thing, the thing with the guerrillas and not being a solo mission is that you cannot do the whole. Because the enemies will be alerted anyways, but the other people shoot them, right? So you cannot do like the whole placing books and like distracting everything by yourself, right? Kind of a shame. Hey, how do you go? Oh, this way, this way, this way, this way. To the other house. Thanks, I found a way. Noodles, that's great. And my stress going down, it's good. Very good. Let's do this. Look at this loon. Are you there? How did you do the first person? Okay. Lots of supplies. There's a boss soon. Yes. So look, look, we have this robot and we can like scout ahead with the robot. Instead of outgoing ourselves, look. And I can control the robot. Go first person like this. And we can go like stealth. And be invisible. And then you can also get your secret out and slap the enemy. Or slap snake too. <laughs> it's very funny. Cute robot, yeah. Here we go. Polygon, do you think there's gonna be a boss coming soon? Probably, right? We haven't. <laughs> I slapped a snake's ass before. Ah. We haven't fought any of the... BMBs yet, so probably we're gonna have to fight one soon, right? We're reaching Naomi, so probably they are guarding her. Then we'll have to make a lot. 
lot of changes. Oh, she's there. Yes, that's right. We'll need another guard. That one. Uh huh. Yes. I've taken care of that. Well, who's that? I'm glad I put the subtitles, by the way. You can do the whole thing first person, that's cool. Yo, look at that clearing. Left, right, middle. Smooth. It was just yes. anatomy skeleton. Naomi. And things on your end? I see. You're on schedule here as well. I know. Me too. <laughs> Until then. Mm, she's being a little bit too cheerful, right? Oh. Oh, this is why she needs the injections. Maybe she's been like controlled to like feel a little dizzy or something. Naomi. Snake. I knew you'd come. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. Yeah, Jennifer Hell is the same voice. I haven't seen you since Shadow Moses. How long? Ten years? True. And Dr. Emmerich, is he with you? Why? I thought he'd be the only one able to open the mail I sent. Not many people could recognize 4D sound data in a solar That was sunny, though. How is the good doctor? Monacon's fine. He's the same as ever. It's been too long, brother. I see. Who were you just talking to? Oh. Liquid. Oh. Although I suppose he's really ocelot. That is the the decoy one, right? I thought he was here. The one with the he's tentacles. Not. I know I won't escape. I'm powerless to resist. I have no choice but to cooperate. Mm. Naomi, what happened in the Middle East? What you saw was the soldiers' emotions run amok. Another product of the system. You don't trust me? I'm not sure yet. And if I answer your question? Let's hear it first. Hmm. <laughs> Smart. Liquid. We thought the SOP was an ID control system designed primarily to maintain order and control in battle. Yeah, that's what Merit told us. And we were right. But only partially. Mm -hmm. SOP had another function. Huh? To control people's senses. Oh shit! The they can turn into the matrix. Bodies adapt to different conditions, promoting the release of neurotransmitters, hormones, and stimulants, giving them an edge in battle. Yeah. They can create an artificial combat high by releasing endorphins at the same time a soldier kills an. Oh enemy. wow. Or they can suppress hormones to neutralize the soldier's emotions, 
prevent them from panicking and engaging in friendly fire or needless massacres. It's all controlled by the system's core AI. It artificially controls the soldier's pain, emotions, senses, in other words, the essence of his being. The skyrocketing demands of the war economy have fueled the demand for more soldiers and more fighting. This in turn led to the development of technologies to rapidly improve their combat abilities and control their actions. The system ensures a steady supply of battle-optimized soldiers at a minimum of cost. But you, of all people, must understand, Snake, that unlike combat technique, a soldier's senses can't be taught. Mm -hmm. They must be earned through experience. Does this have something to do with that test of yours? That's why Snake is criticizing the VR missions all the time. <laughs> from the system, but we didn't know about the mental control. And the nanomachines went berserk. No. Our test was a success. At least it confirmed our hypothesis at the time. Oh. Just as we predicted, the nanomachines stopped functioning, and the PMC soldiers were freed from the grips of the system. But the moment the system stopped, all the pain and fury and sorrow, all the trauma and stress, all the hatred, regret, guilt, all the sensations that had been suppressed were unleashed within their hearts. Their memories, unlike their senses, weren't erased. Each enemy soldier they killed, each lost comrade, each threat of violence against the Damn. innocent. Every act of war they committed was etched. So what Liquid did before in the Middle East was like an experiment to see if they could actually machines exact a heavy burden on his heart if he had a secondary purpose I, it was confirmed this reaction yeah. must then be suppressed with drugs before the user knows it his mind is in complete shambles snake remember frank frank yeager gray fox they twisted his body for their experiments and nullified his broken heart with nano machines SOP has taken it even further and applied it to living human beings. Mm. The sins of war these soldiers carried inside them returned to assault them in the form of unimaginable shell shock. The meaning in the system may have changed. The it's crazy how it all ties together. Until that point, war was like a game to them. <laughs> oh, shit. And then suddenly, reality came crashing down. Under construction. It was like a game. Ordinarily, our hearts are hardened through experience. Even the most grizzled veterans live with an inescapable guilt they've had to overcome bit by bit through the years. And even then, it never truly goes away. For a mind lacking that essential experience, it was simply too much to bear. <laughs> Snake, really? Really now? But what about me? <laughs> I've never been under the system's control. What the hell? That's why I want to examine your body. You need to know too. You need to examine my body? I mean... If it's a mutual, sure. All right, Snake. Undress. Snake, what's gotten into you? Hurry up. Don't fully trust you yet, and that's a little bit embarrassing, you know? But for the mission, one has to sacrifice. Examine my snake. Bro, it's gonna be full of fucking scars and shit. Oh my god. Snake. Don't have that reaction. <laughs> shit, man. I look hot. <laughs> Alright, let's just get this over with. She saw me just nine years ago of on the course. briefing, and then, yeah, must be shocking. I'm sorry. Okay, bro. She was the one who ejected us. Because uh, she was a brother of Grey Fox and 
she thought we kill him. Do my video mail about the first generation of nano machines. Hmm. The ones you stuck me with at Moses. Yep. Exactly what is that? The nano machines are recharged by your body heat. They won't stop functioning until they're all extracted, or until you do. She's gonna extract my nano machines. Excretion, but around thirty percent still remain inside your body, attached to your cells. Um. The first generation were never ID registered, so they don't react in the same way as the SOP nano machines. But they may be interfering with your body and with your heart. Mm. So, does the aging have something to do with Fox Die too? No. Your telomeres were intentionally set up to be short, regardless of the age of the original. One of the genes that inhibit reproduction and aging, the clotho gene, was intentionally okay. inhibited as well. But more importantly, your chromosomes, like liquids, were provided with terminator genes to prevent them from making copies. So I kind of have kids. Uh, your descendants. Your created for one purpose, war. Yeah. And so, in order to prevent you from being abused by clients or stolen by the enemy, they shortened your lifespan and removed your ability to reproduce. Oh. It was a safety device to ensure that the seed of Big Boss didn't end up in the hands of others. The reason you're aging so rapidly isn't because of disease. It's, I mean, we already knew all this shit, but okay. It's how you were born. Or at least, I don't know. It's your natural lifespan. Yeah. Like they told us Big Boss genes, like Liquid said, he was his genes were from he was fifty years old, so you know listen is like <laughs> Okay. Hmm the truth. Is my body gonna hold out? Your cells, blood, organs, nerves, skeletal system, muscle tissue. Every part of your body is aging rapidly. An ordinary man wouldn't even be standing by now. Snake, the only thing keeping you together is the strength of your will. Yes! How long do I have? He's dementia. He has Alzheimer's. Half a year. Oh, rip uh, my psyche. So the bottom bar is the, the psyche, okay? The mind, and the top bar is the health. Don't. The physical. Snake. <laughs> that that's gonna. There's something. That that that, that records my psyche. Oh, now what? Boy, your Kojima is. No, your body is approaching its limit. But when I said half a year, I wasn't talking about your lifespan. What do you mean? We can't get rid of the fox die in your body completely. At this point, it's circulating within you like a normal virus. Yeah, so? Listen to me. Fox die only kills its victims when the infected person's genetic code fully matches the genetic sequence programmed into the virus's receptors. Okay. In other words, it only attacks targets with specific genes. Am I not, I am I not one of those? That's what killed the AT president. And liquid. Baker. Yes. An octopus. And at the same time, it's set up to protect those not designated as targets from oh. the virus's harmful effects. So is it actually protecting me? Here. I'll show you. If it's if it doesn't match my genetic uh, target, let's say, it'll prevent me the from dying from it. On the fox die inside your body are breaking down. The rapid aging process is changing the environment within your body. Huh? As a result, the virus is starting to mutate. Oh. The viruses on the left are fox dye in its original form. The ones on the right I took from your body. Okay. They're already mutated. You can see on the bottom the, the nucleots. Wearing down. Meaning? 
This mutated version of fox dye could activate even if the infected person's genetic pattern Fuck. Perfectly the We're fucking doom. Which means the virus is becoming indiscriminate okay. about what I hear something. Or is a fox? We didn't have fox. Ever since Shadow Moses, fox dye has been breeding continuously in the nanomachine colony inside your body and dispersing into the air. But there are no more targets to attack, so there haven't been any more outbreaks. However, if the receptors continue to wear down, it'll become a killer virus that attacks untold numbers. Oh shit, they will kill anyone without target. What if we kill them all? Remove them from the body. There are no antibodies either. Oh, so that's only my fox eye. The fox that that snake is kind of so the snake is like a biological weapon right now. Targeted when that happens. What is certain is that people will begin to catch fox dye through airborne transmission. It'll start with those closest to Yeah. Then one by one. Who is this camera looking? The part of the virus that distinguishes between individuals will start to break down in about half a year. No. Three months at the most. Fuck another bad news, bro. Ironic, isn't it? Get it over with the bad news already at the doctor. You spent your entire life saving the world from Metal Gear and nuclear annihilation. And now. Yeah, I'm gonna infect the sewers and everyone's gonna die. So I'm carrying a mutated virus that can kill everyone. Whether just one percent of the human race could unlock the broken receptors, or whether we all can. In either case, three months from now you'll be a walking biological. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Literally what I said. If it were up to me, you'd be quarantined already. Good news, all in all. They were from like Otacon saying one year to she saying six months, and now she's like, no, three months. I know. <laughs> we still have a job to do. So you are in danger, Naomi. Three months. You're gonna get infected, I mean. What if what if Snake stands next to her and she starts like <coughs> copying her face? You gave me fox die and now I gave you fox die back, bitch. <laughs> stop fox die from spreading. Uh. When the host dies, the virus dies with it. Oh, okay. Crematorium time. Burn me. I'm gonna kill old fox die with a freaking. Nicotine. <laughs> you get fox eye, and you get fox eye, and you get fox eye. <laughs> Everyone gets fox eye. Snake, tell me one more thing. Have you been to a hospital lately? Yeah. While you were there, did they give you an injection? Don't they always? Hmm. Take a look at this. These came out of your body as well. What it's is a that? New strain of fox dye, one I've never seen. Someone must have put them in. They put body. two fox eyes in me. Any idea who? Maybe that one neutralized the other one. Wait, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, Dev Drebin. What's in it? I can't say for sure. I'll need to do some more tests. Trevin put a new fox eye on me? Here, take this. It contains the same substance the soldiers' nanomachines secrete inside their bodies. It's a drug that inhibits the nanomachine's ability to regulate... Oh, the so if Liquid tries to do that thing again, the the we can function when the system negate with that effect. It triggers a reaction in the body, which is why you're having the seizures. Give yourself a shot whenever they get... Oh, okay, okay, okay. You see Loon? She he puts away the cigarette with that. What was that? Potent, so use it sparingly. Okay. Unless you want to end up an invalid. It may restore your psych for a short while, but use it too often and the amount restored will start to decrease. Oh, tolerance. 
I saw something moving in the background. Maybe it was like a bug or a texture bug or something. I don't know. I've been a fool. I let myself drown in my nano machines, and now I'm trapped by them. You said yourself we mustn't allow ourselves to be chained to fate. <laughs> I can't slip free. Then I'll free us both. Where's Liquid? I can't tell you yet. Not until you. It's like a little container, mind there. It's like a like a like a micro can. Liquid left here last night. Where was he headed? Those are my terms. I can't leave this place of my own will. What are you talking about? I'm being watched. Uh oh. Someone is here. Removing the system will only cause his army to collapse from within. So he's chosen to seize control instead. Liquid's objective is to hijack the SOP system. Yeah, he's becoming... He'll use it to create the ultimate army of perfect soldiers and launch his insurrection against the Patriots. There's a name for his new plan. He calls it Guns of the Patriots. Oh! Guns of the Patriots. Makes sense. Uh oh. Look away. They know we're here. This place isn't safe. Come with us. Oh, shit. This way. Competent soldiers. What is this? Oh, frogs. Oh, shit. Oh wow, where's the round by the way? Oh look at this bitch. Shit got serious. Oh it has two voice actors, it's very cool. It's like a male and a female. Ninja vanish. Where the hell? Okay, okay. okay. Bro, those transitions are clean. Alright, so first I. What? Sorry, let me save. I don't want the game to crash or have to repeat any of that. I'm surrounded, so I guess I'm gonna have to get rid of the frogs first, and then there are other enemies. I got an item, but I don't know what it was. Syringe. Alright, here we go. Otagon. I interrupted Otagon. But I was gonna say some bullshit. Oh shit. Okay. Is that a painting of Job, bro.
He's hype. What if I sub one? With what? With a knife, I guess. But the knife, I'm not sure if it will do damage or kill them. Where are they? Is the octopus here too with me? She could be like this guy's or something, you know? What do I do? The alert is gone. With the robots? I can try that. But there's no more enemies. Do I also have to kill the other... The, 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 be the beast? Can I knock this down so I make sure? Ration. Where is she though? Did she really around? I guess we had to last some time. That was weird. Okay, so now we're gonna have to fight her. That was like a warm up. Like a shield, so I cannot shoot her when she's doing that. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is she going now? Huh? Holy, she has all the health. What is she doing? Okay, so she. What is happening? She's uh, hiding now. What is that noise? The scene in Final Fantasy was better? Which one? I guess it's just music? Oh fuck! That was a mine. Okay. She left some trail, right? Oh, I see her. That's decent damage. Let's hide again. She's trying to look for us. She she vanished again. She's hiding again. But oh, this is a really cool boss fight, though. Oh, 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 oh. She throws mines that come at me. Okay, okay, okay. I just saw that. Where is she? This is why I would like to have thermal vision. Oh. Is that her? What? Oh, those are the cables. 
she's throwing mines from me, right? So the longer I take to find her, the worse for me. Oh, this fight is really cool. Where is she, though? She's over there. I think she's... Here. Is she not? Where is she, bro? Could she be on the ceiling or something? Her voice comes from here. I don't see her. Do you guys see her? I'm gonna shoot this thing. To make sure that's not her. Where are you? Oh. Titus. She was there. Let's find her again. That was good damage. Please game, don't crash again. Please game, don't crash again. Alright, so... She's here. What? Oh, she's this thing. Where the tentacles are coming out. Okay, makes sense. I thought there were like tubes. She walk this way. Oh look, she's on the painting. <laughs> That's so cool. We're already going away. One shot. Very cool because the paintings are similar to her. I hear her. Snake, come yeah. here. Let's go. She's going to start doing the ball thing, right? She's throwing the grenades. I think she's uh, the body. The body laying on the ground. That one. So on that she goes away with one, one hit. Let's go, fight me! Boom. Okay. She's Naomi now. Naomi? It's another mimic. Watch out, snake. Shoot on the feet. Oh, I'm getting her tentacles. At least she's not doing that on attack. Oh, what the fuck? She's almost dead. One shot. Come on. She's gonna come out from the window. Yeah, I mean. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please. I am an octopus. <laughs> an eight 
Legged beast. <laughs> These tentacles <laughs> are beyond my control. <laughs> Their will <laughs> is the will of the battlefield. <laughs> Project Machine. So Return to Monkey. It's all so funny. No. It's not funny. Nothing is funny. I shouldn't be laughing. I can't. The truth is, I'm not laughing. <laughs> this is sad, man. Not laughing at all. Huh? I, I shouldn't be laughing. I'm scared. I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this her true self? I'm so or sorry, I laughed. Acting. I'm sorry. I won't laugh anymore. Oh. It's like a mix. I can't. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Wait, what? Laughing. She shed her suit. Who knows what she'll throw at you next? Watch out! What the hell is this? She's dodging. She sidestepped that shit. Wait, what? What the fuck? Dude! I'm losing health! Boom. What is, why is that painting moving? How do I... She kind of dodges, right? Bro, this is a fucking horror game now. Oh, I, I got her by that. With that. I got her by that. Nice. Oh, I won the figurine. Laughing Octopus Doll. Let's go. Grab me again! Bro, she has a fucking knife! Oh, never mind. That's a sound effect. I'm sorry, I don't want to do this. I'm trying not to kill you. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. This is fucking horrible, man. Can you dodge a fucking sniper shot? No, she tried to. I think after she dodges, I can hit her. Ooh, that was close. Can she dodge, dodge twice in a row? And the camera going gray and everything. No? There you go. Okay. That's a cool second face.
Cool. Mining all the shit that has to be going inside her body. With all the... She's still alive? We put her to sleep, so maybe that helps her. To get rid of all the shit inside her system. Her mask. Can I have that? Okay. Please don't crash, let me save. Why is that baby laughing then? Hmm. Your snake. Looking good today. Driven. What do you want? That's cold, man. And here I was about to tell my very best customer about face camo. Face, face camo. camo. Oh. The camo skull cap you just picked up from tentacles. How do you know that? It utilizes the same kind of technology as your octo camo suit. Using the two together can get you even better results. I'd hang on to it if I was you. Doesn't I've, fit. The people you know, need to see my pretty face, shape. you know? Yeah. Looks like it could use a bit of tailoring before you can sport it. Not my line of work, but... Ain't you got a buddy who specializes in that kind of thing? Hmm. Somebody's done their homework. Hey, here's my job. Hmm, he knows Is too that much. The real reason you injected me with those nano machines to spy on me. I prefer the term customer data management myself. Yeah, I heard that from many companies nowadays. It's strictly confidential. Nah, uh, we're just invading your privacy to offer you the what best you products, right? Personalized machines for. Marketing. A, virus. a certain virus was detected in my body. Are you saying it wasn't in the nanomachines you injected? Look, you do know there are other folks who could have done this to you. And besides, what would I gain from infecting you? Better for me that you're out there kicking ass on the battlefield. I was watching you, Snake. You're a real piece of work. Never thought I'd meet the man who could take down Laughing Octopus single-handedly. <sighs> she just kept on laughing. Now, why do you suppose that is? <sighs> Something in her past. You got it. She's from a village Story in time. Arabia, little seaside hamlet known to all the locals as the Devil's Village. Place wasn't known for devils, though. It was known for octopus. See, this was one of the few places in Europe where they ate octopus Bro. customarily. You're gonna give me a whole anyway. <laughs> Enemies, boss, backstory after I defeat them the to feel something more for them, I guess. Then, when she was just a teenager, things get bad. Uh, how does this guy know all this shit? cases get their hands on some weapons and attack the village. Overnight, her sleepy little fishing town becomes a war zone. They round up all the villagers and execute them one by one. Except for that girl. They had something else planned for her. Something a whole lot worse than dying. Calling her the devil's child, they forced her to do the kind of thing. Wait, what's Fritz more here? Did I miss her color or something? After they made her torture her family and friends, they made her kill them. The whole time they were forcing her to laugh, howl like some sort of demon, like she was enjoying it. What was she gonna do? Say no. They'd kill her too. Oh. So she let fear take control. And did exactly as they told her. She butchered the bodies of the ones she loved. And laughed while she did it. Joker mode. Completely in insane. Blood, it gradually turned from deep red to jet black. To her. Mm. It looked like the ink of an octopus. The experience scarred her deep. Ever since then, she hasn't stopped laughing. Only, that ain't really laughter. Why are you telling me this? You expect me to feel sorry for her? No. I know you got no room for that stuff in your world. And besides, this is war. Right? In a way, though, I guess it was the right thing to do. What was? 
fighting you cleansed her mind. All right, enough chit chat. Yeah. There's other beasts out there in them woods. Watch your back. Okay. <laughs> There's Camo. Laughing Beauty. Let me save. <laughs> Let me save. That, that log is very cool, by the way. Knowing that it's like the whole big boss outer heaven thingy. Oh my god. I know it's cinematic. If he crashed here, I'm gonna be pissed. <sighs> Did you drain? Did you pee? I moved before. I stretched my legs before when they gain crash. Oh no, not again. You got the injection. <laughs> I didn't drink or pee, no. This is war. You know those snipers that had to be a whole day, two days, three days, not moving? Waiting for the moment. This is me streaming. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I don't even... Like, the thing is... If I get up and then I'm not doing something, then I will have the... the I will feel like I want to be. But right now, I have literally zero feeling of, like... I'm, like, my mind and my body is, like, focused on that. What is that? Is that Bump? Oh, that's not Naomi. They took her that way. Because of the heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? That one? So they went this way. Snake tracking. Holy. Is this act over? Or is more? Snake. Have you lost sight of the target? Jack. Whenever something moves, it leaves a trail behind. Track and find Naomi's trail. Oh. I'm not like Big Boss. Tracking isn't my strongest suit. When did you get so That's good so cool it? he says that, actually. After saving Sunny, I drifted around the globe. In Alaska, a tribal elder taught me some scouting techniques. Okay. Drifted. You never went back to see Rose. Rose? She doesn't exist. No. Rose and I live in different worlds, different times. Her world has no place for someone like me. My place is here on the battle. Yeah, he, he really lost it. He really <laughs> lost it. Scouting is I'm on combat mode, I'll tell you. Of hunting. There are two fundamentals. Awareness and tracking. Awareness? Awareness refers to locating a trail by paying careful attention to your surroundings. Tracking means to follow that trail. Your target's trail could be footprints, a branch they broke along the way, bent grass trampled underfoot. Okay, we need to pay all you need extra to attention. Clues using all your senses, sound, smell, touch. I can smell the direction that of the wind. now means. <laughs> Watch how the animals move. Listen for unusual Perfume. bird calls. These are signs that someone may be disrupting the environment nearby. You sound like a ninja. Exactly. Ninja are the ultimate scouts. If your enemy is a skilled scout, they'll be doing the same thing. You may be the hunter, but you are also the hunter. Very cool dialogue. To avoid enemy detection, move slowly, little by little. Don't disturb the air around you. Try to make as little noise as possible. Your pursuers will be doing the same, trying to sneak up on you without a sound. If you can't pick up the trail with your naked eye, Switch the solid eye to infrared mode. Oh, that will enable you to see. Oh, the infrared and any is the night vision too. Ocean. Yeah, it's true. You could see like the solid eye to infrared. Got it. Yeah, you could also but see the sound a... it makes okay, while okay, engaged okay. could end up giving your position away. So don't leave it on for too long. All right. Wait. Listen to your heart. Trust your senses as much as you can. And you will find yeah because the the warm things were also shot. showing up brighter true 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 snake true, 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 true. follow naomi's trail and find out where they took her watch out though you might run into a few holdups along the way okay the hunter 
Bro, look at the cow. That's sick. Pay attention to everything. Sounds. Ration. They went this way. The hunters becomes the hunted. I want to say, oh my god. <laughs> Bro, can you? I guess not. Yeah. Is this a trap or something? Snake, the trail splits up into multiple directions. Look closely at the footprints. I heard a noise. Um, she went this way. Look, that one is from her, and the grass has been stepped on. They went this way. Enemy soldier, spot. Looks like they split up here. Machine gun, holy. Okay, which way? Which way did they go? I don't think they went this way. What about this one? Ah, uh, this way. This is cool, Rambo style. Hell yeah! Look at this. I'm a snake, bro. Can you see me? Where is Snake? Yeah. Let's keep going. You think that could be Naomi's? Surely. More enemies? Which way? This way. That's hers. Plus, she's she's being uh, held by Zeus. Oh, look at that bitch! <laughs> They're trying to ambush me, huh? I see you, man. Shit, I missed. Oh, oh, because he hit the freaking obstacle in the middle. HQ. This is HQ. We're under Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what happened? Master key. There's something wrong. She's being oh, held by two or more people, so that means she's going this way. Where are they going to come from now, though?
They cross the river. Oh shit, they're coming this way. Bro, what? What the fuck? <laughs> How did she see me? She fucking kicked my ass, bro. Oh, wow. That was my spot. That was my spot. I was literally gonna hide there. I have to take them down. Alright, that should be all. Anyone else? Let's smoke a little. Smoke to reduce the stress, you know? I was alert 99. Who is alerted? Maybe they will have the first guy. Yeah, okay, now that we smoke a little, we heal. There you go. Right, let's keep going. I believe they went this way. Oh shit, there's a guy here. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's see. Uh, no matter lie, I kind of lost them. So that's Naomi's that way. So they went this way. Man, I wish I did this. Oh, there's more. They went this way. That's Naomi's. Okay. I like this section. Wait a minute. It's the solid eye. The sound is giving your position away. Take cover, Snake. Huh? Oh, what? shit. My solid eye is giving my position away. How? It's making noise. Okay, they went this way. That one. Okay. Let's get a new camel. Gone separate ways here. This way. Oh, there's. <laughs> Is that family of fucking capybaras or what? Or hamsters or South American rats? <laughs> That's cute. I think they went this way, yeah. And here, right. That one. Does this wait? She escaped. This is her alone. This is all in Naomi's. Should 
Look at this guy. You should be falling asleep right about now. Is there one more on the grass or is that an animal? She drops something. The shoes. Oh fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? There <laughs> were grenades at, the sh at her shoes. Maybe the enemies know and they're trying to put like traps for me. Munya. An herb native to South America. This the smell helps you relax and feel at ease. Nice. <laughs> Let's eat some of the capybaras. Wait, I didn't like I did that. Back pain snake. Wait, wait. Stand still. Being in this position, being old is, is painful. Makes sense. Alright, so where Were they using her shoes to make fake footprints? Bro, that will be next fucking level. Right? She went this way though. But oh yeah 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 for sure. For sure they did that. What the fuck? That is 200 IQ. So she must be this way then. Words. This guy's gonna turn, isn't it? Oh wow! <laughs> Emulator. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going. What? Of course, of course, of course. The moment I go, he turns. Hey, right, what do I do now, though? Because I don't have any more footprints to base my tracking on. She's a uh, barefoot, right? No shoes. Should I, should I think about that? It's Kojima after all, right? It's, it's Kojima after all. So how the hell do I tell if that's barefoot or not? I think didn't I come from the here? Let me check the map. Mm, not really. But I can be I, I could literally be going in circles. I'm just gonna go. I think they went this way though. What was that? It's my imagination. These are the the other soldiers. See, uh, like sneezing and shit. She are she are like they're like at the top of the hills or something, right? There's a bunch. I'm noticing more footprints now. Security's getting tighter. We could be getting close to Naomi. Yeah, this way. Do you think they got her in here? I hear a helicopter. I don't know where I'm going, bro. I don't know where I'm going. Did they get her inside the cave? Of course there's a cinematic. Of course there's a cinematic. Man. The Vigilance Tower. Careful, Snake. You're kind of exposed, bro. Oh, there she is. That's BAMP. So are BAMP and Liquid working together? Or do they have like different uh, missions? Different 
uh, goals. I'll say they're working together because the soldiers and oh, is he gonna, you're gonna try to snap him or something. So yeah, they're working together. That's liquid on the phone. As you wish, we begin shortly. Oh. Oh shit. Headshot. He doesn't die, man. We're gonna have to fucking decapitate him, cut his fucking head. We've got to go ahead. Begin. We'll Let's see if he's immortal plan. after that. It could get intense. Brace yourselves. Shots, all of you. Yes, sir. I'll be taking a nap. <sighs> Uh oh. So these are not gonna be affected by that shit, but these are. These people are. And they're gonna leave. And I hear geckos. Are geckos coming? And we have to inject ourselves with the with Naomi gave us, right? To avoid this shit. Yeah. Get the thing, bro. Oh, that's why she injected herself the first time, too. Okay. It's not working. The emotional controls aren't stable enough yet. Uh oh. Did they send this for me? Uh. Trevin. Oh? The monkey. Oh, sh oh, oh! Why is the helicopter not taken out of yet? What? Why is it just flying there? Okay. I did not expect this to happen. Man, two viruses these days. And now they're taking off, of course. The noises the geckos make reminds me of ED29 on Robocop. It's like animals. It's like the same as Metal Gear Rex. They like a T-Rex noise, kind of like. Right? These ones are like. It's like the Jurassic Park noises <laughs> from the different dinosaurs. Wow. How the hell did we rescue her? <laughs> so funny. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I thought 
This guy wasn't meant to like get this involved. He said, I don't like getting my hands dirty. I don't like, I just, I'm just expecting, you know? Because this could cost his life. That's not worth for him, right? But I guess he likes us. Okay, no crashes. Celebration. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do the shoot the shooting section now. Right? Oh yes. Alright, let me save. Okay guys, let's go. <laughs> Look at this shit. How do I use the gun? I'm pressing the button. I don't wanna kill, huh? So, they can't hit, but they can't hit. what the hell? They're like zombies. Stand next to it and press the action button. Then use the right stick to aim and press the attack button to fire. I know. Your aim, snake. I know how to do it. Hang on, it's gonna get pumped. These guys get trying to get in top. Oh shit! Okay. Wait, are these enemies? They're blocking the way. Get rid of those guys, snake. These are immune. Don't bother using normal guns. You'll have to get up close and personal. Okay, fine. Perfect. Is that enough? Oh, they bring. <laughs> Thank you, Otak on tutorial. What do I do? Move! Move! We're one hanging. The emulator right now is like <laughs> six hours emulating this shit. Oh no 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 no. Okay 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 okay. Does that do anything? Boom! Nice. Behind me! Wait, what? Let me alone! What the fuck? Bro, this is fucking crazy! The emulator right now is having a fucking... Bro, chill the fuck out. Trying so hard, yeah. He was stuttering there for a second. Okay, we're doing it. Yeah, baby. Bro. <laughs> okay. I was on me. Okay. A little bit of a gun in on a vehicle section, typical, classic. Oh, shit! Ooh, that's another. How am I gonna. Now, MGS? Shoot the gate! 
It's open, it's open, it's open, it's open. Okay. Where is it? Though? I can't even aim! I don't, I don't do it. Never mind. It's turning! It's turning! Leave me alone! The gate, the gate, the gate. The gate snake. I know, I know, I'll take it, I know. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh. I'm gonna save again. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I don't trust this. Let me try something. What if I stun myself here? And I'll get rid of these guys. They can't hit, but they can't hit. That work? Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god. See you, nerd. Oh. Up front. Here they come. This section, how it, the game transitions from cinematics to the gameplay, it's really cool. Hold on tight. Bro, there. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Man, sometimes I I, I lose track of my health. So hard to turn. Get the knee. I'm out. We're out, this bitch. We are at the marketplace. <laughs> uh, I think we finished. I hope this is the end of Act Two, and I don't want to see the. I don't want to see the briefing for Act Three. I will save that for tomorrow. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We are fucked, guys. Run. <laughs> Come on, Naomi. Stay with me. <laughs> Man, this game lacks, lacks stone sometimes. Like, I don't mind the jokes here and there, but don't put jokes when you don't, like, when they don't have place. Where are the geckos? What was that? You okay? Yeah. Oh, shit. Searching for us. How do they not know we are at the truck? What, what, who's that? Raiden. Raiden! What? He's a fucking ninja. Oh. Ooh. 
It sounds like cows, yeah. Go on, get out of here. Can you move? Yes. I don't like this character, to be honest. This is a warm up for Metal Gear Rising, guys. Yo, holy. That second character. Dead by a thousand cuts. Sheesh, what an entrance riding. This is Cyborg Ninja 2.0. Same boys. Badass guy makes his entrance, yeah. Side. So Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, you play as Raiden and you can do all those moves. So I, I will play that game, probably. Alright, we need to be extracted by the Shopa. Get to the Shopa! Get to the Shopa, guys! Look, minded is here on the market buying food. Right now. Look, this minded. The guy with the green cap. By the way! Oh, run, 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 run! By the way, careful! Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Uh, just run, just run. Uh. Where do I have to go? Oh, not this way for sure. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. He's shooting me! Why is the ring closed? Why can't I go through the house? Oh, hello. <laughs> Bro, are you kidding me? Oh my god. So I have to go through the middle. Not the chickens! Ouch. Can I lose something? Wait, wait, wait. Do I have chat for an ace or something? Oh, I don't even know. Uh, I'm an old man! I can run very fast. Okay. 
You can fruit ninja all the enemies. Yeah. Chuk, 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 chuk. Okay, are we out? Yeah, true. We save Raiden technically. Yeah, please, King. Time. Sorry. I'm a little busy so right Raiden now. is paying Snake back. Now, what happened to him, though? He seems like. He's a complete transform. It's like what happened to Fox. Don't forget the mark two. Naomi, take care of this. They're coming! Oh, God. Bro, take Get off! Of here. Yep. Where's Raiden? Still fighting. Throw him a ladder. Wait, who's that? Vamp. Oh no. Bob and Raiden. Oh wow. Oh no, they're holding him. Raiden. We need to save him. Bro, why are you dancing, bro? <laughs> so goofy. Oh, he's knife. Yet again, our paths cross. Oh! Shit. What is that? He doesn't have blood. I guess it's like half machine, half human. It's like goes in the shell, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck. You too, immortal. No, I just don't fear death. Oh, okay. Joel, what the fuck? What is this guy? <laughs> this guy is break dancing with gay <laughs> I, I cannot take this shit seriously. Uh, like, I don't mind epic shit, but when it goes over the top, when it breaks my suspension of disbelief, then. You know. Okay, but this is cool, this is cool, this is cool. Uh, this is believable. So flashy. Is a music video? This is one of those. This is like one of those Japanese animes. Ah. Uh. Oh shit! <laughs> what the hell? A Yotsumitsu trick.
you'll be the one to finally finish me. <laughs> this guy's made into Tekken. Cut his fucking hair, and you will see how immortal he is. <laughs> like, all those injuries could be explained by, like, super self fast regeneration, right? Like, same as uh, the T virus, I guess. But with nano machines, I guess. Either the nano machines make, like, blood cells and cells regenerate super fast, right? You could justify those injuries being healed, but, like, a fatal injury. Nothing is healing the ship. Okay. Fine. He needs some right. milk. <laughs> You're... was a failure, even with his code. As I feared, the fury. Pure enough, we need all of him. The PMCs we deployed have suffered uh. great damage. Nothing salvageable remains. Our only remaining option is to secure the original. I know that. It's only a matter of time. We're working as fast as we can to find their hiding place. Oh. I need you. So they let us rescue Naomi. Maybe she has a transmitter or something. So wherever we take her, they will know. Raiden's come. Hang in there. Oh, fam. He's got to be immortal. No, he's not immortal at all. It was my design that caused his body to be like that. Huh? What do you mean? The nano machines in his body cause his wounds yeah. to close and heal at an accelerated rate. Someone took the basic nano machine technology I once researched and perfected it. In a sense, I'm responsible for Bam. It's one of my sins. Does your body have the same nano machines? I brought a monster into this world, and I too. Am... Hold him down. He's losing too much blood. Can you save him? I don't know. He needs a blood transfusion. No, an infusion of artificial blood. Snake. Ryan. You're up. <laughs> what? Go meet Big Mama. Oh. Okay. The one she told us. The one he told us before about. Okay. Safe. Nice. Hmm. I have mixed opinions about Debrain and a little bit of the humor sometimes, but at the same time, I really like the introduction of all the characters. Snake and Campbell and Nottingham were cool. Sunny is very sweet with the Olga picture there. Uh, Raiden was badass, but it was a little bit over the top. Vamp is back. All the BMBs were cool. Uh, Liquid, we haven't seen much about Liquid yet, but he's, he's cool. Naomi is playing a central role in this story. Mm -hmm. Who else do we have? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see along the way. Rose to his back. Eh. Rose is kind of eh. But also you can tell how much harder it must be for the voice actors, especially for Debbie Hater and Quinton doing writing. They had to do such more like a raspy, deeper, older voice for them, which is not what they usually do. So that must be hard for them. But they sound very cool. 
yeah i'll see you guys next time uh with more metal gear solid 4 i'll try to do act 3 and 4 let's see how long that takes me hopefully less than today but yeah have a good night guys bye bye see you next time thank you for the company and the chat much love and have a good night